Hey, buddy, uh, I'm not gonna get some uh, time killed. Go around through to the back. That's where you're gonna find the Palookas. Adrian, give me a countdown from five. Okay. Five, four, three, two, four. one. Shit. Welcome to Palookas! Uh, we're talking about shit today. Good intro. What? It was a good intro. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's yeah. very kind of you. I am here today with uh, Big Underscore Tuna TV. Did I get it right this time? That's yeah, me. you did. What? <laughs> uh, uh, and yeah, go, no, go yeah, ahead, Adrian. Yeah, no. Introduce uh, our other this friend. Is, this is our friend Jose. Uh, he makes many things. Buenos noches. Uh, especially a damn fine hot dog. You should try his hot dogs. He sells them in the downtown. Top notch comedy. We're slum. just. Banging this up. Should we oh, should we yeah. start the episode over again? Are you sure? This is good. Yeah, well, I'll if keep, you're sure. I keep this. Uh, hello, Jeff. Also known, I guess, as Skeletal. Is that how I'm plugging your channel? Sure. Yeah. We'll all right. I'm not sure. Know. In in our first episode together, I plugged all three of your channels because I wasn't sure which like version of you I wanted yeah. to have. I don't know. I suppose that's cheating. Which version would you like tonight? <laughs> Pick one at random. Oh no, it's up to you. You're the host. Dude, I don't. I don't. If the, the setup process was any indicator, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. Um, also, I know you have two channels. What is your third channel? Uh, well, uh, Paul, Paul, yeah? uh, the main man, yeah? got me, got me thinking about starting a gay man channel. Oh! So, I'm a gay man now. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you did things like, uh, fucking PBS undressing Muffy. Oh, that's good times. I've got, like, four videos right now. I'm kind of... That's a good number. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not exactly, uh, what's a polite word? Uh, I'm not, I'm not Paul, you know, like. <laughs> that is a polite subscribe word. Subscribe to Tweets Guide on YouTube and Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, just trying to pump out more and more content? Yeah, well, I mean, your your main thing is to pump out, like, game, game, gaming stuff, right? So, you know, my, my thing is, like, I gotta write a script or whatever, and, uh, I, I like, I like the gaming stuff, and I wish I could do more of it, but I just... I feel very self-conscious whenever I go to create some stuff like that. Why is that? Because it's more shallow in nature? I No, I don't think it's shallow in nature. I think there are genuinely some really talented people out there, but uh, I don't know. I'm not uh, at their level yet, I guess. I know it's something that takes practice. I just I want to make sure whenever I put something out there that it's good, you know? That makes sense. I, I want to give a quick shout-out to Adrian for nodding on a fucking podcast. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was very in... I was agreeing with his points, but I wasn't going to be like, Yeah! yeah! <laughs> over his like yeah I don't mean sorry what was it you had something to say just sorry oh okay <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you think oh, is gonna I be... know what you mean oh, yeah, cool yeah. as long as <laughs> what do you think is gonna be the point where you um, where you start creating uh, more and more gaming content is there ever gonna come a point to that or do you feel more comfortable in I... film no, I, I think there is a point. I mean, right now, it's basically just what I can get to run on my computer and then record with OBS. So, I, I don't know, I gotta look into one of them them fancy recording devices that gets the PlayStation games, because I've got a lot of those. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you grow up with PlayStation 1? What'd you grow up with, Adrian? I never asked you. Oh, I was a huge Nintendo dude. Oh, okay. Like, you born into an N64, had a Super Nintendo at my cottage, was raised pretty much nice. on GameCube. You had a cottage? Yeah. I still rich. I still have one. No, it's more like a beach house. <laughs> oh, that's not as rich. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's in um oh okay. It's, it's He's not upper upper class. He's more like upper middle like, class. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like a family like my grandmother owns it. Nah. So she uses like her pension. Yeah, but she's like it. Italian. So, what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. They're you being racist right now. Yeah. No, they're rich. Not really. No? Italians no. are rich. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> okay, you were, says the guy who fucking told me the story about Luigi who owned half of fucking oh, but, small Fucksburg or whatever oh, yeah, the fuck yeah. we called well, it. I mean, those are just different Italians. <laughs> I don't understand where this conversation's going. Oh, uh, I talked about a, a while, I think two podcasts ago, I talked about where I worked. It's more than two uh, podcasts how, ago. Okay, whatever, Paul. <laughs> uh, I talked about how, like, my... Um, I worked in an Italian restaurant, and how the, the owners, like, they took me somewhere to get, like, beer gas. Mm. And, like, we were driving away, and, like, this really old man, like, we're talking, like, in a suit, white hair, slicked back. And he's like, hey, Tony, how's it going? And he's like, Richie! And, like, he was wow. talking to him. <laughs> and then later he's like, do you guys know who that is? It's fucking... That's fucking Richie. He owns like half a new Foxburg. <laughs> oh no, Tony! <laughs> yeah, 
like he's yeah. It was it was literally like. Did I just witness the Italian mafia hanging out? <laughs> I really hope you did. That's amazing. Because if I mean, not, those people exist. The the new yeah. Fuxburg mafia. Yeah. Italian mafia. Because if you did, if you didn't, we just wasted two podcasts <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> well, it was, this, I mean, I imagine it was a bigger segment in the the first. Time. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. So. Yeah. You were talking about this one guy who hits on women from his car and. I yeah. was talking about how oh, I was yeah. inducted into yeah. another well, mafia we can, family. We can just look up the episode, thanks. Yeah, thanks, episode thanks. number five, the convenience store mafia. This is yeah. episode number yeah, no, nine. Jeff, name it. No. There you go. <laughs> cool. Oh, is that the joke? The joke. The joke of the episode is in the title. So, because I said no. Play the funny sound effect. <laughs> God damn it. I was gonna edit that. Yeah, there better be a funny sound effect in there. I'll I'm gonna be put upset. the sound effect of a fucking funeral in there. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't know. I didn't even know there was an SFX file for that. There probably you could. There, I found a, a few sites that's like freesounds.com. You know, when you're not feeling original and you want to use sound effects that oh, everybody yeah. ever has used. Yeah. Freesounds.com. Good website. Oh, shout out to Kevin McLeod. Do, okay, I want I want to get to that topic in just a fucking second. <laughs> but yeah, it, most of them are really shitty sound effects, like with the uh, the. I'm not even sure what you call it, but it sounds like it was run through about 50 old movies. You know what I mean? Or they like send it through a bunch of like file converters from like MP3 to Wave, and then like yeah, a bunch of lossless filters are on yeah. it or something. It, it doesn't sound bit crushed, but it sounds like the movie version of bit crushed. You know? Ew! I totally get it though. Yeah, yeah. Like I sent this through Windows Movie Maker, and the sound got shitty. Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, and it's really hard to find actual good sounds, but at the same time, you know that a thousand people have used the actually good ones, so you want to stray away from the first one you find. Yeah. Uh, usually I just pitch them up or down or like layer different mm. sounds on top of each other just so I don't sound like every guy ever using you know, the sound that, effects. That's interesting actually. When you start to, when you really get into editing, I mean just in general, you really, really start to hear stock sound effects yeah. a lot more easily. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it was like uh, when we were at that, Cause, uh... Because it's like, I've used that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like at the film fest yesterday when uh, yeah. when I pointed to you and said like, "Oh, that's the sound effect from fucking Doki Doki." I'm sure Doki Doki wasn't the first fuck uh, literature yeah. club wasn't the first uh, thing to use it, but yeah, they use the same. Um, what what is even the glitch sound effect as Doki yeah. Doki? They yeah. probably were inspired by it. At any rate, Kevin fucking McLeod. Who is this guy? You don't know Kevin McLeod? How do you, Have you not told me know about him? the royalty free god? Yeah. You go to incompetech.com, or is that the. Yeah, it's incompetech. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, basically, it's the most. Most famous? Most. Yeah, I would say as far as royalty free music. Yeah, goes. the mo most <laughs> famous royalty free music uh, website on the internet. Uh, <laughs> Kevin McLeod makes all of his music. You can, uh, you can use any single track uh, for absolutely free, even if you make it on something commercial. Is this like I for some reason the kick like the basic ass Kickstarter theme just played in my head like the dun, 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 dun. it's like a jingle and like everybody uses it. I know it's it's out of tune, but I assume. <laughs> yeah, it's possible that's <laughs> it's possible that's uh, Kevin McLeod. Genuinely, he makes ev the problem with Kevin McLeod is not a problem with him. It's that he's so very good at like making generic music and doing what he does that everybody has used him. So you cannot m use any of his music without sounding like every other YouTuber who has used ah, his music. Shit. Well, his yeah. music is generic, so that's what they're shooting for, I guess. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple <laughs> ones where it's like, oh man, this is really interesting. I want to use it in this thing, and then you find out like Jimquisition has used it in his uh, his oh, one segment. Shout out like, to Node. They use him all the time. Node? What is Node? Node is uh, uh, kind of like half gamers, half airsoft people. They're, they're really fun, actually. They do like uh, Trouble in Terrorist Town, but in airsoft. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, and they got, you know, like the GoPros and everything. They got they got a lot of equipment, so it's it's actually like, you're right there in the thick of it, man. I'm going to be a Nam flashback. Yeah. Trying, to, trying to do that shit posting thing. No, I was just, I... I Okay, when you said trying to do that shit posting thing, I'm gonna add an echo filter in, and uh, then I'm just gonna have Vietnam sounds in the background. Oh, good. Like it's gonna Wait, be a great time. This cut, is a reminder cut. to Paul. Yeah, cut that part out, me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> could you also cut this part out? Whatever we're about to say next, I don't know. <laughs> now I don't want to say what I wanted to say. <laughs> Fuck. All right, cut that. Yeah, out. what do you want to talk about, guys? Uh, <laughs> this is off the cuff, dude. Um, in terms of uh, things like Kevin McLeod, I rarely use it at this point anymore because uh, I've got this weird 
I'm not sure if I'd call it a delusion about mm. wanting to be my own uh, person at this point and trying yeah. to build my own sort of, oh, this sounds like Tweet as opposed to, oh, okay, you use Jack Septicai's fucking jingle or something okay, like that. Yeah, no, that, you're right, that is delusional. Cut that out. <laughs> cool. Uh, I, I accept that it's probably delusional at this point, but at the same time, I don't like making things that remind me too much of other people's. No, no, no. I was, I was just joking about no, the delusional thing. I think no, you're absolutely yeah. right. You know, you gotta have, uh, you gotta have your own style. I remember it's hard there was to do that nowadays, though. Anyways, continue. No, I, for fuck's sakes, feel free to interrupt me whenever you want. I uh, normally don't like interruptions, but on a podcast, why I think don't you it's shut up. Let the man talk. Yeah. Okay. Even though I'm you. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, well, no, it's just because. It, Everybody wants to be big YouTube sensation, and so what are you gonna do? You're just gonna copy what you see people are, and then you're just gonna try to like put your own fucking <laughs> so spin. Cohen Bros is PewDiePie. Yeah, Thank pretty you. much. Actually, we were talking about that before the podcast. Oh yeah. Started, uh, how um, and forgive me if this sounds insulting in any way, shape, or form. No, but I. I told you how I feel about this. Anyways, go. Yeah, uh, I I viewed uh, your first uh, your first video yeah. and on the fucking channel or Wiggler One R One. Good channel. Yeah, it's a good channel. <laughs> Good name. Uh, Rest in peace. It used to be it used to be famous for the Smash Bros outtakes, which I watched when I was in like grade five, and he made when he was in grade five before we even fucking knew each other. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is he a celebrity? And I deleted all the videos because I was a little bitch. So they oh. they had they had like hundreds of thousands of years. I was afraid. Oh, wow. I was afraid my friends were gonna make fun of me, so I deleted them. I feel like I feel like you, you fucking, and I know, you and I dude. Are the only unpopular ones who go on this show. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, my I guess the I'm gonna quote this the legacy. Put that in quotes. Um, of it, kind of like all right. <laughs> in your brain. Put put the quotes in your brain. Yeah, uh, cut that out. Yeah, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, in terms of your new video, the first video that you put out um, was it felt very Jontron. Yeah, fair enough. Because you sort of had that sort of New York delivery, hey. like that pseudo the pseudo New York delivery that Jontron does, and sure. the sort of the goofy like there's a thing over there, there's a thing over there. What's going on? You know, Can like I, that's uh, sorry to interject with uh, something that's kind of just a non sequitur, but just real quick, I want to say my favorite Jontron moment. There's this, uh, there's this part where he makes a bad pun, and I forget exactly what it was, but he immediately follows it up by staring at the camera, and then he just looks really sad for, like, a split frame, you know? And then it cuts away. I think I remember that. <laughs> Can't remember which one. Uh, it, you, when you, um, when you made your, uh, when I watched your video for the first time, yeah. I'm very stuttery today, I apologize. That's okay. Um, yeah, I felt, I felt that it came across it with very JonTron tones, and Fair as enough. I was, uh, saying it afterwards, I said something along the lines of, everybody pretty much has to do that when they first start creating yeah. content. Uh, because... Even JonTron. Yeah, even JonTron. <laughs> he, he, he said... He did himself, too. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, he mentioned, uh, in his first few videos, he felt like he was, uh, channeling Spoonie a lot. Mm. Yeah, I mean, y you draw it back, there's, you know, the angry video game nerd and all that. Mm -hmm. A lot of inspiration with those guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, AVGN probably has influenced I've... thousands of people at this point. There, there was one YouTuber I watched, I forget their name, but they they postulated that uh, AVGN has influenced more YouTubers than any other YouTuber. Probably. Which is one hell of a legacy, if you think about it. James Rolf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you consider YouTube legacy, you know, whatever. I mean, he yeah. was also on game trailers and all that stuff. <laughs> Screw Zach. I'm just kidding. How dare you? Uh, when I first started streaming, uh, like my first four-ish months or so was uh, was pretty much me doing my best impersonation of Vine Sauce Joel, <laughs> the uh, the Swedish guy from Vine Sauce who swears a bunch and it has a lot of memes where he shuts down computers. Granddad. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it it makes me think about like, has there? Obviously, there had to have been YouTubers that uh, that did original stuff off the cuff, like immediately. I have an idea go but is it really as commonplace as just co a copying off of someone and then going off i mean there's the you know what the theory is that there's nothing new under the sun we yeah just kind yeah. of eventually start repeating stuff but very very it enough that it's like wham bam thank you ma'am i think you know video game donkey he has a style that like i i think is is very much his own i don't know if he's the first one to have it but he's the one who owns it yeah you know? uh even even Video Game Donkey, I'd like to go back to his first video he ever posted and go like, "Is does this remind me of anyone, you know? Mm, yeah. I mean, it, you'd be going back to like when he made Newgrounds animations that were really shitty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when uh, when Game Grumps first started, I know that they said they based themselves off of uh, an existing Let's Player group, uh, like in terms of just like what they wanted to be. It was either Rooster Teeth or Super Best Friends Play or something like that. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which one. 
but uh, as I'm learning more and more about, like, oh, this was my inspiration, I go, like, who who went into YouTube just going, I'm going to be this? Nobody. Yeah, that, that's that's fair. <laughs> yeah. uh, I really respected your foray into gaming, especially with uh, the trailer that you put up on your channel, uh, Jeff, for that reason, because it, every time that uh, a friend of mine says, hey, I'm going to start a gaming channel, I view them and they go, like, oh, that was a good Aaron Hansen impersonation <laughs> you fucking did, you Claude. Yeah. Yeah, but Aaron Hansen's just such a drag sometimes. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's really sad a lot of the time, and I feel bad for him at this point, I will agree. Um, so what do you mean about my little character? Oh, just, you had a lot of energy, and it didn't seem to come of a place of like, Guys, remember fucking I, Justine? I don't remember know, I can't Bobby's World? It was a good show! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I fucking love Yukino Joe. I wish. Oh yeah. I wish I. Uh, I, I wish she I... did stuff more. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for saying it. Yeah. Uh, I wish she did stuff. Uh, Keber and I used to uh, do impersonations of, uh, of of them and just do the entire thing through uh, class. Because when I was in grade ten and he was in grade eleven, yeah. we happened to discover Yukino Joe within the same week of each other and bring it to each other and going like, <laughs> "I found a cool channel." <laughs> That's amazing. That was the point where we started to become friends. Like we were acquaintances at that uh, and up until then, oh, but then we good. both came to each other at one theater practice, going like, "Oh my god, I've got a YouTube channel. Me too. You go first. And yeah, we both discovered uh, Yukino Joe. As far as like new media, I've only ever had one friend that I connected with over a video game. And I was I just overheard him talking about Saints Row 2 and I was like, dude, I love the cheat codes in that game. And he's like, dude, and then we started hanging out. That's cool. Yeah. Do I know the friend? Uh, Grant Ahmad. Yeah, you've probably heard the name, but uh, the legend, he goes on. Does he make his own stuff? <laughs> no. He's what a, a fuck ass then, I don't care. <laughs> he's a, I think, he, I think he's working a factory job right now. He's a good guy, though. That's good. He may or may not be selling meth. I don't know. Uh -oh. could, could we bring him on? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure. I'm I, sure he'd come down. I'd like to know the intersectionality of content creation and making meth I'm in a just, factory. Yeah, no, I'm kidding about the meth thing. Oh, <laughs> okay. Working in a factory. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. What are you talking about? Making jokes. Cut, could you cut that out, Paul? <laughs> making, making, uh visual jokes on a podcast. I did that at least for the first three podcasts. You, you still do it to oh, this day. Oh, I still day. do it, yeah. Yeah, I think I, we all do it to this day. I still day. don't know what you guys are talking about. So how about memes? <laughs> you guys like memes? Uh, do you want this to be a topic? <laughs> Not really, I don't like memes. Neither do I. Adrian, you said <laughs> in response to the whole John Tron thing, you had your own thoughts about uh, how people... Oh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, f this is just my process and how I kind of went through it. So I did the video, kind of on a. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> was that was that me doing the video? Yeah, no. This was three-year-old Adrian going like, "I'm gonna be a star with Smash Bros. Outtakes." Oh, I, that was Robot Chicken that inspired me. Then I tell right. you that. Yeah. Oh my God! Yet another inspiration. Holy shit. Yeah. Just do that. Um. Anyways, so I did the video. Um. And then I kind of like watched it over and over again, and I was just like. Oh boy, this is uh, this is not me. Um, but I feel like you kind of have to get rid of that first. We sort of Jeff touched on that a little. Um, but like, the hardest thing you can do, if I found, is just being you. Because I don't know, I when you grow up, you have so many things that you find funny, and they kind of shape you and your humor. Like I grew up a lot on uh, John Tron, uh, a lot of Eagle Raptor, a lot of um, what else did I say? Uh, do you remember what I said? I can't remember. Uh, Shoe Nice, the guy who eats Old Spice <laughs> Dude, sticks. Dude, that guy like can down a vodka bottle really fast. Yeah, it's really terrifying. Yeah, no, legitimately. Yeah. Do uh, you think it was just water? Maybe. It, maybe he's a fraud. Maybe he's a fraud. Anyways, uh, oh, Gary's mod videos? Dude, that was, I grew up on that oh, shit. Oh, dude, uh, like, uh, what was the guy who made Team Fabulous too? Kitty oh, 07 Kitty, dude, that's like the best yeah. Gary's Rest mod video. Yeah, mm -hmm. rest in peace, my dude. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. He he also worked on the Gmod Idiot Box. I didn't know this. Yeah, he, Idiot Box. Oh my god, he I was about Idiot Box. He did the audio stuff, which totally makes sense. You yeah. watch uh, Team Fabulous two, and then the Gmod Idiot Box like episodes, I'd say eleven through fourteen back to back, and you're like, oh my god, this is so clearly mm -hmm. uh, Kitty Kitty's work. Yeah, yeah. Um, Idiots of Gary's Mod. That's the OG. There was one before the Idiot Box. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, neat. Eight. <laughs> um, anyways, so to quickly wrap it up, you, you kind of have to go through that phase of, I don't know, for me, I feel like I need to go through this phase of not being me and then slowly becoming me and see what works, and then I'll figure it out. 
by I'm, then. In my opinion, you, you pretty much can hit on the, the nail on the head with uh, knowing what works or finding out what works. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been doing- You guys ready for a fucking trip through shitty past of shitty me with shitty YouTube videos? Tell me. I okay. mean, what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, in grade six, uh, <laughs> I started in- Actually, I started- When I was a boy. Yeah, pretty much. I started before grade six with, like, shitty- I'm sure everyone did this with whatever you had. Like, oh I, yeah, I made like a shitty uh, remix of uh, that one scene from The Incredibles where they're arguing about which uh, exit they take. Uh, do you do you remember that scene? I I is when yeah. they're when they're all together. Yeah, and yeah, he's like, I take seventh, don't I? Don't take seventh, and he's like, oh great, we missed it. And she's like, I, you asked me how to get there, and I told you. And then I just looped that part where they're just like, uh, you got to exit attraction. I take seventh, don't I? Don't take seventh. Oh great, we missed it. I'm telling you how to get there, Traction Avenue. I take seventh, don't I? And then I just kept re. <laughs> Well, I mean, that joke works in theory, anyway. No, it, it, it worked in practice, yeah. it, for the most part. The problem was, I looped it about three too many times, oh. where, like, it was funny, stopped being funny, got funny again, and then stopped being <laughs> funny again by the end. Uh, you gotta feel it out, first couple of times. And I called it Mr. Incredible is Incompetent, that was the entire title of the video, and I did this super, super stupid, like, fucking huge title thing for it. You know, back when you, you first used Windows Movie Maker, oh, and it's yeah. like, I know how to use Windows Movie Maker. Uh, let, let, push aside, my friends. No, yeah, it was grade six. Because I remember before then, I hated video making. But in grade six, I, um, I made, uh, I was drafted to, uh, do this thing for part of my, uh, program. Just one of the assignments was make a, uh, movie. Can we do anything other than making a movie? No. Great. Okay. I'm, I guess I'll just be with a team that doesn't give a shit. So, the, you know, there were the two girls in the class that didn't give no shits about making no artistic things. And also, the guy who was hit on the head with a shovel in grade one and was doing calculus work by now. True story. Um, wow. Yeah. A actual dude. God he, bless. He lives in Hong Kong now, and he's designing fucking uh, security systems. Moving on up. Yeah, no, the fucking, the time before then I was, I checked in with him, he was working in Silicon Valley. The time before then he was in the National Academy of Sciences. Each time I messaged him, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, but he's not Tweed's guy. <laughs> he sure isn't, Jeff. Uh, and anyway, the, the final product of the thing that we made in grade six was, it was, it was so terrible that I just, after we finished making it, I was like, this can't be it. So I ended up making videos, just sort of like as in a, I don't know, an apology. <laughs> yes, yeah, as, as a way to to wrong the right, eh? Yeah, and then I just started making everything I could, and then like, people started gaming online. I think I was inspired by Bleep Bloop from College Humor, which started I think before Rooster Teeth did. Mm. Uh, it was a it was an unidentified trailblazer of its time, in my opinion. And I was like, dude, people are playing video games online. I could play video games online. I can do that. Yeah, and I found out very quickly that, no, I couldn't. Especially with my shitty um, uh, recording device on my computer and uh, that recorded in two, yeah. 240p. And my shitty uh, webcam, which was actually a camcorder on a tripod, that shot onto actual film. And I had to spend $30 for every episode um, that I produced. Wow. When you're in grade 6, $30 is a lot, a lot of, of money. money. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I made... The, the Smash Bros. bloopers with a, like, Canon camera that wasn't designed for film. Like, it takes pictures, but it had, like, a 30-second cap on recording. So that's why most of the segments weren't longer than 30 seconds. Um, and it was pointed at a CRT TV, so not only was I fighting scan lines, I was also <laughs> fighting 30 seconds. And then I would probably put it into a thing. I don't even think I used Windows Movie Maker. I think I used, um, this, like, free software called, like, Magex. It's, I don't know, Magic's 10, 12, something like that. Adrian, welcome to the quiz show. Are you ready for the first round? Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Oh, cool. Good. CRT TV, what does it stand for? Oh, God, I don't know what it stands for. Canadian Real Television. Jeff wins. <laughs> oh. It does, no, it doesn't actually. I don't know. Did you say does it actually stand for that? I believe anything. Fucking Claude. <laughs> cathode. Is the C Claude? No, it's Cathode Ray uh, Tube TV. Oh, I feel like I knew that, but I just chose not to. It's one of those things that I think everybody knows in the back of their heads, but they just don't give a shit about. I yeah, mean, like yeah. dysentery. You know, because I'm going <laughs> yeah. imp to impress all the people with my knowledge of what CRT stands for. All right, fine. Round two. Jeff, ask him a question. 
Uh, hey, when um, when did you start YouTube? Uh, oh, it's actually relevant. All right, cut that's, the music. That's a that's a. Uh, I think I was in grade four or five. I don't know when that was. Whatever. Pick pick a year. That year. Well, it was the same year that I was in grade five. What year was that? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I think um I think when I started, I was definitely uh it was it was grade four. It was definitely grade four because uh, Alec and I had just met Alec Risky. Good guy, good guy. He uh, kind of, I mean, he didn't show me the ropes, but he kind of showed me the world because he was already into Sony Vegas, and uh, we made a couple uh, RuneScape music videos oh together. My God. Oh, uh, let t tell me you got, tell me at least one of them got like over ten thousand hits. Uh, no, none. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> you so can see how dated it is because one of the <laughs> we didn't change one of the um, uh, descriptions. It still says, sorry about the shitty quality, LimeWire wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> is it still up? Yeah. Give me a link to that. <laughs> yeah. Give uh, me a link to that so I can put it in the fucking description. I think the one that that was in, uh, it was it was Crazy Loop, you know, the uh, hit Europop song. And then yeah. we did another one about the Sonic X theme song. That was good. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Oh, baby. <laughs> Gotta go so, so he sort of let you know that it was a possibility to do shit like that? Well, it was And just... you made Sonic videos? <laughs> No, it wasn't. It wasn't so much that that was the spark for me. It was just kind of like, uh, I mean, that was when I, you know, I've al I've always uh, I've always been, I guess, a creative kid. You know, I always liked drawing. I always liked making little little comics. I used to draw Spider Man a lot. I was really big into Spider Man for a, a little while. Uh, never got into the comics, strangely enough. But I, you know, I always wanted to be an animator. Loved Looney Tunes growing up. SpongeBob. It was, uh, it was just such an amazing world, you know? Comic and books are fucking stupid. I don't know what. I, I don't like reading them. Yeah. They're, I don't know, I, but I, I think, like manga. I think the thing it's about get, them is that right they don't the, keep consistency. Get right the fuck up to the mic oh, and say that. I said, well, I kind of agree with Paul on the comic books things, but I also like manga, which is kind of, I don't know, stupid. <laughs> All right, just wanted to make sure that was on record. We'll Continue, see, Jeff. With, with <clears throat> manga, I mean, that's something that has... It establishes itself, right? I guess so. It, like with the comic books, I mean, there are a hundred yeah. different interpretations of the exactly. same. Exactly. It's like Spider Man One, he kills someone. Spider Man Two, now he he's never, doing he never taxes. Kills. Yeah. <laughs> now he's doing taxes. What if he was a girl? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that that happened recently. No, wait, that was Mexico. What if he was black? Yeah, that, yeah. that is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you think like there was a room full of bored people and they were like? Okay, the kids like black people. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I say fuck. we kill off one of the beloved characters and make them black. <laughs> Is that what happened? Like oh, they, they killed, killed the original off Peter Parker. Oh, yeah. I thought they just like injected him with something like just like the spider bite. <laughs> he just like he got yeah. bitten by a radioactive yeah, he black got guy. Injected by a fucking bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They, he got bit by a radioactive spider. He turns into a spider man. So I just figured you get bit by radioactive black people. What the fuck is the logical progression? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I don't like the direction this is going. <laughs> New topic then. Oh. Hey, give us one of the ones on your page. I'm just curious what you have written down. Okay. Um, cut out the silence, me. Me too. No, don't leave it in. This is the one part I'm gonna be pretty adamant about. <laughs> and now you're just taking a fucking drink. Well, yeah. Good. Cut. How's your water? Cut the video. It's good. No, don't cut this. Don't cut this. Cut everything else. <laughs> Leave Start this segment here. in. <laughs> Start the podcast here. <clears throat> oh man. Uh, okay. Uh, so all of you guys have some sort of interest or affinity or something like that with all two of you guys. Uh, <laughs> for uh, all of us. <clears throat> uh, for a. Uh, Real acting, quote unquote. Like you guys enjoy some sort of performance or public. Hell? Does that mean? Is that what you're gonna ask? Could you finish, please? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, for uh, for actual acting, so improv. We're all fun with improv folks and stuff like that. We're all pretty comfortable with public speaking. I think is a fair thing to say. Uh, if I have to. You're you're comfortable with it if you have to. Like yeah. maybe you don't like it, but you're still comfortable yeah. with it. There's a difference. There. If someone was like, "Hey, go up there and s sing a song," I'd be like, "Um." No, I don't really want to. But if they're like, oh, come on, please, we're your friends, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> I've always had kind of a strange uh, dynamic in that, I, you know, with people I, I don't know very well or social settings, uh, I'm just kind of, I'm quiet and reserved. And people take me to be a dick because they, they don't, you know, 
they assume I'm just like, no, I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. But then, you know, once I get on stage, it's like, I, I don't even care that a hundred people are watching me. I'll make an ass out of myself just, you know, to make people laugh. I just like, you know, the, I like entertaining, I guess. I don't know. Do you see yourself as a product to that end? I'm, so, how do you mean? Like, when you're on stage, it's just like, whatever, I'm not a person anymore, I am just, whatever it takes to get, uh, get them to have a fun time, I'll do it. Like, that sort of oh, thing? Oh, uh, I, I wouldn't say exclusively, but, uh, I'm just, uh, in, in situations where the spotlight comes on, I'm, I'm, you know, more comfortable than, I guess. Not more comfortable, I just, it's not something that deters me, On, on a side, I kind of feel the same way about what Jeff is saying, uh, but, like, I don't know, the way I see it is, when I'm on a stage, I'm not gonna, like, talk to you later. Like, you just kinda see me on the stage, and if, like, if my- if your memory of me is being, like, an idiot that made you laugh, okay, I did my job, please, like- Please can, leave. Please leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can go home and rest easy. Like, I'm not gonna be like, eh, whatever, on stage, and I'm not gonna go up into the audience and be like, Hi, uh, nice to meet you, my name's Adrian. Like, the, You may have recognized me from that role I play, I was yeah, pretty sweet, yeah, wasn't yeah, You may have seen me somewhere, but, like, you know, I mean, if they approach you, oh you yeah, then I'm polite. like, then I'm very, I'm usually like, oh thank you, thank you, I'm glad you, I'm glad you yeah. enjoyed the show. <laughs> Please tell me it's like, oh thank you, <laughs> oh thank you, I mean, that, thank you. What you're saying would be weird, like you finish, <laughs> <laughs> you finish your performance and then you're like, hey, did you like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying I don't do that. Um, well, yeah, like I'm much more reserved outside of the stage than I am yeah. on I it. I don't know about you, Jeff, but there was at least one filmmaker at the end of the uh, film fest we went to yesterday that did that to me. We're not gonna drop any names, though, right? Um, honestly, I don't know their name anyway, so. so oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess. So. Wait, yeah. so they they you saw their film? And you're like. Hi, Dirk Durkinson. You like my, like my film? Yeah, well, I was in that. Well, it's because I recognized I made a film too, and they were like, Hi, how's it going? Yeah, interesting film. Did you like mine? Oh, piss off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They they even said that word let for me, word. Interesting film. Yeah. Did you like let, mine? Let me suck your dick. Now, can you suck mine? It's getting a little dry over here. <laughs> well, also, like, it was, it was really clear. I'm not sure if this was just my mind playing tricks on me, but whenever someone calls your stuff, Oh, that's interesting. It's like the least interesting thing on the planet yeah. to them. If they, even if they just said like your film was good, maybe they mean it. But when they say interesting film, no, I'll think about that later. You Slap know? the sticker on. You tried. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it just, it just feels like the ultimate like backhanded like no, really, I mean but this shit. But did he win any awards, Paul? Oh, Paul, remember did to edit Paul that win? clap I did because that's probably gonna clip the audio. I don't mind. Did Fuck Paul off, Adrian. Did, didn't he win any awards, Mr. Two in a row? It's, look, it's not even in a row. I didn't enter last Mr. year. Mr. Two. You suck, Adrian. I'm you giving Paul a kiss. Adrian. For a fee, yeah. Und für alle Schleckermäuler. Are you tired of going to film festivals where you're expected to watch the other movies? Do you want all the satisfaction of people telling you your pretentious film about how you hated your parents growing up was good, but you don't want to put in the effort to even notice anyone else's? Look alive, you self-absorbed hack, and get ready to have your dick sucked, because today, the People Up Their Own Ass Society proudly announced the Compliment My Film Festival 2018. This February 29th, enjoy an evening of other people validating you and asking if the protagonist was loosely based on you. Purchase a VIP ticket today to get access to an additional five people coming up to you understanding enough about your film to be engaging, but not enough that you feel you've lost your place of superiority by being the only guy there that gets it. The food is complimentary. The drinks are complimentary. The criticism... <laughs> Just kidding, your film is already perfect, you delusional worm. Now get your fine, pasty, never worked a retail job in your life ass over to the Palace of Culture in Chernobyl this February 29th for the Compliment My Film Festival 2018. Remember, no matter how hard you get praised, no one knows what a genius you are except you. Our friend Adrian, I guess we'll cut back into here. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. He just left the room. Uh, he was really mad at that thing that I said to him at that part that I bleeped out. Uh, uh, sorry about that. No, he wasn't that mad. He started bleeding. <laughs> he started said bleeding, sorry. Paul. <laughs> because you made him so mad. He bit his lip or something. Anyway, what do you what do you actually think of Adrian? Like, what? what? What do you what do you think of I, Adrian? I thought the pacing was okay. No, I mean him. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck ass. Did you know Paul made a short film called Adrian? And it stars fucking Big Tuna. It's pretty whose shit. Na whose name it, is Adrian. It's weird. I look <laughs> back at... Yeah. 
I look back at that video now, it- I'm embarrassed by it. I was like, oh my god, I actually made something cohesive at the time. I remember that was like the bent- uh, the landmark of like, I could actually make short films now. Yeah. I'm comfortable uh, with it. I, I- I guess I only have two criticisms that- that just jump out at me, if you don't mind my, me sharing that. Um, sure, uh, you'll need content- hold I, on, I guess I'll put a link to it in the description so people can make their own criticisms. Write down your criticisms for Adrian oh, in the comments. Yeah, thank the, you. The film, not you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he just got back. Anyway, yeah, uh, so hit me with your criticisms. Okay, uh, color was very muted. I wasn't a fan of that. It was yeah. very- a little too blue. It was a little, like, a little obvious blue, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was yeah. my first time going with color correction. I was like, holy shit, I can do this! Blue's forever! Everybody, dude, I love uh, special victims unit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the second um, one? I, I guess the the other thing is that um, there's there's kind of like I mean, how long is it? Like three or four minutes? Uh, five. Five? Five yeah. minutes. So, like, there's only one bit. He's He wants to get away from these guys. Yeah, it's a very stupidly simple premise. Yeah, so he, he's just walking around for yeah. most of it. <laughs> and, yeah. like, you know, there are some exciting bits to that. And if you want to make a chase sequence, you know, that's good. But, like, that's, that was that was it. Yeah, you know? sure was. Sure I, was. I mean, hey, hey, I'd give that best film. <laughs> Would you? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> The acting was top-notch, let me tell you. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Except for one scene where I remember you were really pissed off at me for having to film something in the freezing cold in your oh, t-shirt. Oh my god. So at the very end when you're talking to uh, to Sarah in the film, you're like, Hey, would you like to go out for a bite to eat? And like, it shows up on the fucking, uh, on the thing as like, Would you like to go out? And like, yeah. it's so painfully like clear, you were pissed. Not only that, that it was cl intentionally bad acting, but that you were pissed at me too. I didn't. Oh, that was something that was a little bit confusing to me was the ending as well with Sarah because yeah. she like strips off her jacket, and I didn't pick up that it was a lab coat. I thought she was just really randy. At <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, as, she's just like, oh, he's not getting away that easy. Oh, as, as va -voom, we, va -voom, you know what I mean? As we've discussed before, uh, I think in my filmmaking, I'm kind of bad right now at uh there's like one or two details in the film that i know but i don't communicate effectively to the viewer and mm. that's just some shit i'm gonna have to work on in the future mm. yeah. a lot easier when you can when you have dialogue but uh audio editing for me it's it's okay to do in a podcast because that's all i have to focus on it's okay even in a gameplay video in a film for some strange reason i have the hardest time doing it if i if i may i just thinking aloud here why does he walk away from her after asking her out, I guess? Oh, he's, he's just thinking she's gonna come along with him. Oh, okay. Well, what you could have done was, like, they they start to flirt, and it's, like, obvious signs of, like, they're, they're like, getting it off, getting it off, and then, like, maybe they're leaning into each other, and then, then he looks down, and he's in handcuffs or something. It could have worked, but I really wanted that last, like, uh, doom to be when he fell on his knees directly oh, and I looked see. at the camera. You, you wanted her to strip. I wanted him on his knees for her after she stripped. <laughs> Get the fucking facts straight. How'd you feel fucking being in that film, you piece of shit? Oh, it was fun. I'm I'm a huge I'm a person personally I'm a fan of uh, things that line up with music. Oh, I just got the theme. Dude, Dude we were both in a film of his. What a cocksucker. What a just invites shit. us. I'm sorry. Himself. <laughs> you know, and we should just <laughs> suck him off. That'd be weird. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> I've been in films of yours, video games with the boys. I don't know if I'd call that a film, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd call it. I'd count that. I'd count I've got that. three YouTube channels. That's a lot. That's all I was going to say. There's you're, no follow-up. You're basically like a modern-day Tabuscus that doesn't fuck kids. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Did Tabuscus fuck kids or fuck someone without the consent? I am... I am very sure that most people have fucked kids. On YouTube, I mean. Oh, probably most like, people. Like, in videos, or...? <laughs> Cut, cut, cut the video. <laughs> no, don't cut this. No, you know, cut it. Actually, yeah, just cut everything. Start the podcast here. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm looking to get some uh, time killed. Go around through to the back. That's where you're going to find the Palookas. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome in. Uh, Tweed's Guide. Uh, we're, uh, we're talking about uh, RPG Maker videos <laughs> you're the worst uh hey adrian hey uh i noticed that uh, are do you like being in films there okay. have been like two films that i can remember that you've been in uh one being made by myself and the other being the other one uh, have you been in any other films yep oh okay what uh if you go on youtube yeah and you type in a chalkumentary 
Are you getting this, folks? Uh, How do you I, spell it? Like, like documentary, take out the doc and put chalk. Yeah, but like chalk as in... Like C-H-A-U-L-K. Yeah. C -H -A -U -L -K. A U L K? Yeah, like there's a U Dude, in chalk, isn't it? Fucking okay, I don't know about I you, Jeff. I was I was thinking like chalk is in chocolate, like chalkumentary. Yeah, okay, that's Google. what I thought too. Yeah. How do you spell chalk? Well, it oh wait, what chalk are you going for? It's not. There's no yeah, fucking there's no U. U. Okay, I feel like there's a U in there. That's hey, no, that's I can caulk. connect with you. Um, my buddy Alec and I, when we made Club Ignoramus. Yeah. Uh, we put in an O. Uh, Ignore am o s yeah. so it's kind of like moose you know moose. Uh, and initially we we thought that's how it was spelled you know because we <laughs> so we looked it up and then we're like shit i mean we could have changed it then but then we were like you know what stylistically not bad because ignoramus you got to think about it right what dumbass puts an o in there <laughs> ignoramus. ignoramus okay that works um yeah, if you watch a documentary, you'll actually probably recognize one of the uh, actors in it, Paul. Uh, who? Uh, Me? I, I'm not gonna... You could say their first name, probably. Uh, Christopher from U... Uh, cut oh, this out. U Toronto. Why the fuck would it be bad that... Alright, cool. Well, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to be him to be hunted down in the streets. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Chris from Toronto. For Watch the record, out. if you if you find his name, it presumably he's credited. Oh yeah, in, he's credited in, in it. Okay, Dude, it, like f so first and last shit. name? Yeah, probably. Then you fucking google his name. You f you look at his face uh, oh, his I guess Facebook. That's true. On his Facebook. All right, it, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> look what you've done. Sorry, I was trying to be cautious. Social media has ruined us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be I was trying to be cautious. Yeah. It's the liberals. <laughs> The man of the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's also in that. Okay, that's cool. He went so to my high school. So that was just filmmaking you did in high school. So you've only done two things in university. Yes. Uh, did you consciously choose to transition mainly to live stuff, except for you know now oh, you're making I've content just been, online? I've just been doing live stuff for like for as long as I remember. Right, but did you specifically cancel off the avenue of um, uh, film and acting in front of a camera? Um, or was it just the way that the cards were dealt? Just the way the cards were dealt. I've never been like, I want to be on a film. It's just, I've usually been like, hey, do you want to be in this? And I'm like, okay. okay. Like, I just see it as more experience, and the more experience, the better, really. I it, mean, yeah, go ahead. Oh, well, I was just going to say, for me, it was, I, I kind of came to the conclusion of film, because, uh, I, unfortunately, you know, didn't have the skills to be an animator, and I was like, you know, I'm really good at making videos. I just wish there was something. Uh, Career-wise, I could, you know, do it in. Turns out there was. <laughs> Did you ever, like, wish no. you were an animate? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Did you ever, like, wish you were an animator? But, like, oh, you, knew, you, you knew that... Oh, I thought you were going to in an anime. No, I mean, no. Yeah, what, like, like Sonic I, X? I remember, uh, <laughs> uh, Harry Partridge uh, doing that... No. Uh, I remember Harry Partridge doing that one video where he said, um, I, I wanted to do videos, but then I couldn't find actors. Like, he was singing it because it's Harry Partridge, so fuck, <laughs> yeah. of course. Uh, I wanted to do videos, but I couldn't find actors, so I just animated instead, but it takes so fucking long or something like that. Mm. Is, do you ever, like, wish... Man, I wish animating were slightly easier or took less time because then I would totally be an animator instead of a movie maker? A live-action movie maker? Well, I mean... Uh, see, the thing about animation that is that you can do anything, right? Where, you know, film has limitations. I mean, you know, in, in animation, you know, you can turn your hand into an apple or something, you know, something like that. And uh, I guess I guess that would be the only restriction, really. But it is a lot more work, and I would definitely prefer cell animation, like getting every single frame, not just, like, flash. Tweening it, yeah. yeah. Well, you can do t uh, cell animation in Flash. Yeah. Harry Partridge did. Well, sorry. I, when I say flash, I mean that, like digital production. tweening stuff. Yes, yeah. tweening. I got you. Tweens yeah. guide subscribe. Yeah, <sighs> subscribe. Your... Subscribe to tween. Uh, did you ever want to do animating? I did. I did a lot of stop motion animation when I was a kid. Oh yeah, you did. Yep. Like, was uh, he, were you Lego? Were yep. you Lego? Lego. Yeah. That was Fuck like you. A contemptuous response, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> well, it's Lego, so fuck you. Oh. you know? I didn't post it anywhere. You it was were one me. of those guys. That's yeah, you were one of the, them Lego faggots. Yeah, but I also didn't... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep going. I feel like you have a vendetta against Lego. Can no. I just All right. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, but I also didn't really understand lighting as a kid. So I was like, why do some of the pictures look dark and some of them not? This is dumb. <laughs> and God then damn. I would- Thank I, you for never, never posting them. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I would like- Wait, wait, wait. Uh, game show, round two. You ready for this, Adrian? Oh, please. Uh, question number two. Yeah. Well, number three. Three. Thank right. You. Number three. Uh, why did some of the pictures look darker than the lighter ones? Because- Cemetery. Jeff wins again. <laughs> All right, go on. Uh, because my dumbass kid body would like position myself to take a picture, and it would change every time, right? So the camera wasn't moving, the figures were moving, but I would like weren't moving, but I was moving. So like you like know, a carousel? The no, like. <laughs> okay, go on. I know. I I wouldn't sit. I would sit differently. Like I don't know. I didn't understand lighting until later. But then by the time I was like, this is dumb and stupid, because it well, takes long. <clears throat> at least you- well, also because it's stop motion with Lego, but at least you knew. <laughs> <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> with Lego and stop motion. Well, I don't I know, mean, it's... there's that meme where you step on the Legos and it hurts, right? So maybe yeah. it's that. No, I think I just watched too many Lego Meme culture needs to die! Stop motions on YouTube as a kid, and, um, and I just thought to myself, boy, the grand majority of these are shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it was for, I just was like entertained by it, I guess. Yeah. I, didn't... I think Alec and I started a bit of that, uh, like a long time ago. Him and I were always dicking around. Uh, I remember, I don't know if I talked about this last time, but we would go on the, the Nintendo Wii that he had in his basement and uh, just kind of like record stuff with some video app that was on there. And then we'd be like so amazed that it would be going in reverse. We were like, dude. No, what? I remember this, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, full circle, dude. I made a film that's reverse. What? And now I'm complete. What's it called, Jeff? What's the, what? What's the, what's the video called? Cut this up. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Do I have to plug myself again? You don't have to, but you can. Can I just like, can you put all of my links in? <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, like one link for put every a, video I've made. Put a link right. to his grandma. Yeah, link, All right. link my grandma. Link, link your grandma in there. <laughs> uh, link my grandma, fam. Um, <laughs> uh, no, it's called Mr. Lucky. It's named after the song that's in the video. What? It's about a white-collar man who uh, has a really crappy day, but we start at the end, and it goes in reverse. So it's actually a very uplifting film. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, good did you enjoy yourself going to that film fest yesterday? Because you submitted it to the film fest. <laughs> I actually felt. What film fest? Are we gonna give our location away? Uh, I've, I've, it's already been known. I fucking. I tweeted out yesterday. I retweeted. Because um, I, I entered this really stupid. He won. What? He won the film fest. <laughs> and an right. Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, no, I was gonna go with that story. I, uh, a few days ago on my Twitter, I entered this stupid uh, student life network contest where it was like, link three friends in the comments below and w uh, you could win some gamer memorabilia. I entered to win the PS4 because I like Bloodborne, uh, but never got a chance to play it outside the games room in uh, my university. Okay. So I was like, oh, um, what do I have to do? Link three friends in the comments? Okay. Uh, here's three channels that don't get updated anymore. And I just linked the three of my friends that don't update their, uh, their things anymore, and they already have alternate accounts and things like that. So I was like, you guys know what's up. I was tempted to tag Sarush in it, but I thought that he'd respond with the N-word, and I didn't want that attached to my name. <laughs> so I didn't. <laughs> Does the podcast know about Sarush? I completely forget everything I've said. Please, in inform us of who Sarush is. Sarush probably doesn't mind me using his last name. I mean, but, you know, other, I guess... I, I'm gonna anyway. Sarush Naruzi is a uh, unique character. I don't know how to describe him. Uh, we, we had some analogy that went something to the effect of like, uh, think of the most foreign guy you know, and then he'd be that guy's like, quote unquote, American cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perfect fucking, oh, that's beautiful. Nico, my cousin is here. Yeah. <laughs> he totally is Roman. <laughs> He keeps asking me to fucking come down to his place, too. Yeah, yeah it's like, like you have let's to go come bawling. Over. No, legitimately, when are you coming down to this town? And then he sends me a message 30 minutes later. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can, yeah, do, you, do you guys want a Saru story? Sure. Yes. I yes. don't know this guy, but he sounds okay. like a gem. Oh, I gotta think of a good one. Uh, what, what's one that I've told you that you enjoy? Oh, easily, uh, okay. Iran. Never have I ever? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we... Do you guys... 
you guys, n you know, never have I ever yeah, 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 I know the game. Yeah. Yeah. Which is an interesting game, just as a side note. Least interesting person wins. It's yeah, true. No, yeah, true. I haven't done jack shit. I win. <laughs> Suck a dick. <laughs> Either that or the what you perceived as the most interesting person wins. Because Yeah, I guess it depends on the question. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, like, if, if you think someone's a slut and they haven't raised their hand the entire game, it's like, wow, this makes you, you somehow more interesting, you know? Oh. <laughs> Slutty. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so we're, we're playing this game at a, a friend's party uh, birthday, I think. It's at night, and uh, we're going around the circle, and everyone's doing it, and it gets to him, and he has to ask the question now, and he's got all of his fingers up, so he probably wasn't really paying attention, but then, you know, he's like, I don't exactly know how this works. Uh, like, what do I have to do? And we're, we're, we're like, explaining it to him, and it, it's like, okay, so it has to be something you've never done, but you think other people have done, so you can try to get them out. <laughs> so there are a couple layers coming up next, so brace yourself. So what, so what this Persian man uh, says is, um, Never have I ever been to Iran. <laughs> So then we're all just taking a pause, like, who the fuck in this circle would be to a random dumbass? But then, but then I'm like, wait a minute, Sarush, weren't you born in a <laughs> And then uh, I think his response is, is so beautiful. He's like, yeah, no, no, but but like, I, I haven't been back since. <laughs> 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 I think that's oh the quintessential God. story. Oh, that's, that's so amazing. amazing. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just throws up some gang signs, and you know, he's a beautiful guy. So that's the guy I didn't want to tag on my post. It makes sense now, right? <laughs> so. But anyway, you you won an Xbox. I won the equivalent of an Xbox. Uh, oh, I, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, elaborate. So in the email, they were like, congratulations on winning your new Xbox, uh, X. And I wasn't really thrilled because most Xbox One exclusives are pretty meh. Yeah. Well, PS4 exclusives are kind of, whoa, these are kind of neat. Like yeah. Bloodborne. Crash uh, Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Uh, things like that. Um, and so I was like, oh, man, all right, I guess I'll take the Xbox. That's pretty damn sweet. Uh, I don't know, maybe my housemates can play it or something. Then I find out, okay, here you go. Here's 600 bucks in the form of a source gift card. Uh, go buy an Xbox One X with it. And I'm like... I'm gonna buy a fucking PS4. Yeah, why not? <laughs> They're not gonna stop me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somewhat related, actually. Uh, Sarush recently bought a PS4. Oh! New. How is it? How I, is he? I don't know, he doesn't really play it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, Sarush. <laughs> what a uh, guy. He is such a fucking... Anyway. Uh, good yeah. guy. I was gonna end that with good guy. Hard, hard, hard man to love, harder to hate. Yeah, I agree with that. He's done a, a few very condemnable Have I seen things. Him? Huh? Has he been to improv? No. Oh, he doesn't no. even live in this city. Oh. <laughs> uh, but there has been one person that's been to improv that's kind of similar to uh, to Sarush. I'll get to that after the podcast. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> so I got the I got the thing, and they said, uh, "Hey, bring us your picture." And I was like, oh, I don't fucking care about a picture of me. What I'm going to do is smile like, with a thumbs up or something like that. Someone else did that, and they put on the caption, Congratulations to Ralph Who Gives a Shit from fucking Peterson University or some other bullshit. Uh, that thumb looks like it's really ready to game. It's like, that's the caption you put. That thumb looks <laughs> like, like it's, it's really ready to game. game. Oh, yeah, like yeah. he did the thumbs up thing, and that's it was like, like gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel dirty. Yeah. yeah. Uh... <laughs> at, at any rate, so I didn't want to just have a regular picture, so what I did was, you know that one L.A. Noir meme video where it's like, they was working on the tires, oh, yeah. that's all that was <laughs> took, and then he has a gross face? Yeah. So what You're I, lying, Morgan. <laughs> so what I did was, I, uh, I imitated the gross face from that, yeah. uh, t took a copy of L.A. Noir from the games room, and just sort of held it up as I uh, had the face. And I think the caption they had for me, they didn't know what the fuck to do with what, what I'd given them. So they were like, congratulations to Paul... I mean, fuck it. I, it's revealed at this point. Paul Drodos from Brock University, who had... Uh, oh, fucking, God, they're going to kill you. Yep, the, it's already coming. Um, congrats. They said something along the lines of, rock on, Paul. I'm trying to find the picture. Yeah, Here it, it was like rock on or something. You saw it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what is Paul doing in my, like, news feed on Twitter? Is it... 
And is it yeah. possible they may have thought you were retarded? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Thank you. You <laughs> look disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just brought the copy of L.A. Noir and just did my best impersonation of the fa- Which, by the way, fucking nailed. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's weird, I know the character, the bald one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They He's was like, working the tigers. That's all there was talk. talk. And then, yeah, he makes that exact mm. face. For those that want to see it, just look at my fucking Twitter. Boom, plug that. Um, wow. I don't know where I was going with- oh, right, I, I was going with the fact that hey, I've already been- check out Fine Point Cinema. Alright, I've plugged all three. <laughs> <laughs> good work, good work. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've- Yeah, so that's just how I've been outed on Twitter at this point. I just figured, you know what, it outs my last name. Who cares, it's a funny fucking picture. Yeah, 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 no, no, no worries, no worries. As well, I don't think- I think it's a little bit paranoid to think like, oh shit, I revealed my last name, and also the name of the university that I go to. Fucking- one of my 300 subscribers is gonna come fucking knocking on yeah. the fucking barn door, burn it down, you know? I kind of figure I'm not important enough to be assassinated yet, Yeah. So. <laughs> I we got time. <laughs> I highly doubt I'll ever be important enough to be assassinated. Not to mention, if you're careful with your, uh, with the other aspects of your identity, mm. it's not like people can find you based on how many people know fucking Markiplier's full name. It's like Mark Fishbon or something like that. You could Google it. Yeah. It's not like anybody's come to assassinate him, and he's one of the most popular gamers on YouTube, so I mean... Yeah, maybe he has to employ someone to keep his financial stuff a secret. Oh no. Hello, everybody, it's Markiplier. Welcome Markiplier, when did you Five get... Nights at Freddy's 34. Oh my yeah. god, Markipliers, when did you get here? <laughs> I've been working on my impressions. Check out this one of Tweed's Guide. Please subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, why did that meme start? Is it just because I was the only person you knew with a gaming channel that wasn't Saroosh? Oh, no, I, I mean- Saroosh has a gaming channel? Oh, shit, we didn't talk about this! Uh, I this, mean, yeah. This is amazing. It's dead now, but- oh. <laughs> It was dead after its first video. You know, the thing is- Sorry, he, third video. He kinda- Okay, so he had two Fallout videos, uh, one Far Cry 2 video, and the video I was in, and I edited, and, uh, uh, that was of the saboteur. So he's got four videos, and uh, then after that he just kind of stopped uploading. Except, we all held our breath one month later when in the group chat he said like, Hey guys, I want to tease my next video. Imagine Skyrim, but with Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> and then it never fucking happened. <laughs> I, I think it's because this computer kept crashing. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're not going to believe these mods, dude. You can't even handle it. Hey, uh, oh no, I shouldn't. But now that I've, I've piqued your interest, now I have to. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On with it, Jeff. <laughs> Fallout 4, he had nude mods. <laughs> <laughs> we totally caught him too, cause he's like, I don't know, I think, I think my cousin, my cousin did that, and and we went onto the page that he got it from. Uh, from his history, because we were, like, really interested in this, right? Because <laughs> I started up Fallout 4 while we were just hanging out, and then, you know, this busty chick is just nude. <laughs> and I'm talking like it was, like, ridiculous. Like, oh, fuck yeah, like, watermelon <laughs> oh, like, attached like, to like, a female. It wasn't Fucking even just a nude mod, it was, like... E-cup like, mod? Yeah, it was, like, rap video mod, you Yeah. Know? <laughs> rap video mod. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, so we go into his history, we go to the site, and then we're like, uh, Sarush, um, real talk for a second, this is password protected. You have to log on to get these mods, <laughs> <laughs> And he just got real silent. Oh, oh I mean, horrible. frankly, you, people can express themselves however they wish. I, for one, fully embrace Sarush's rap video mods. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I respect the guy. He at least, sure, he was a little, he was a little... Embarrassed about it, but you know what? He has a catchphrase. Uh, I think I think we can genuinely say it. Sarush, you can say, "I'm not gay." Yep. <laughs> God bless. Sarush. Yeah, he actually says that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like a lot. That's that's one way to secure your uh, like basically like, heterosexuality. Yeah. Yeah, it's always unprompted, and it usually, if no one responds, you can wait thirty minutes later. Seriously, <laughs> news <laughs> message from him. Oh god. Oh, uh, I don't mean to make your podcast about Sarush. Honestly, uh, this episode, please. I do not <laughs> mind in the slightest. Sarush is like the most interesting oh. thing ever. Uh, I missed one of his other catchphrases. He hasn't said it in a while. Uh, no guys, I'm serious uh, uh, is a good one. Because uh, we were at a birthday party. We were all like 10 or so. And uh, we were hanging out in the pool. And he's talking about uh, an apartment fire that he had. Because he lived at an apartment at the time. And he's like... 
<laughs> you know, he's just kind of laughing. He's like, Haha, yeah, so like some some guy just burned his kitchen and like three people died. And, you know, like we're like, OK, you know, we're just kind of chuckling along as he's telling the story. And he's he's chuckling, too. Like he's laughing while he's telling this. And he goes, <laughs> no, guys, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, my God. Did he do it for comedic effects? No, it was legit. <laughs> 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 oh, serious. Very dead pet. No, guys. Didn't, he, no, guys. didn't he also kick <laughs> someone in the nuts in that birthday party? Oh, yeah. No, that was a different one. But, um. Uh, oh, that was Alec, out, yeah? Shout out to Alec Risky. <laughs> First time he ever met Sarush, Sarush was really hyper that day, and he just kicked him in the balls. For no reason, in case you're wondering, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> what the f <laughs> You know, he's like, like, he's a hyper kid, he's running around, he's just laughing, you know, you know, roughhousing a bit, kick a guy in the balls. Know. Yeah, Jesus. It's a natural progression for things, I think. Probably, yeah. Anyway, this is not going to get us away from the fucking topic I originally did, asshole. What was the? What? Wow, that was hostile. <laughs> <laughs> what was the? Uh, what was the reasoning for uh, making a joke out of like subscribe to Tweets Guide in the first place? Was oh. it because I was the only guy other than Sarush that had a gaming channel? Well, I know it's just because like you're a little you're a little self conscious about your work. And that is fair. I, okay. I like to I like to push your boundaries. You push your buttons a little bit. So, no, yeah, you that's... Know, you're, you're just like, hey, if you like, there was one time I forget the conversation, but you were just like, hey, if you actually want to plug me, why don't you plug my game awards thing? And then I did on Facebook, and you're like, you fuck ass. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I think easily my favorite moment of that, the climax, as it were, of the subscribe to Tweets guy thing, because you sort of, yeah. you sort of have made it a mellow joke since then, but you made it an active joke for a period. Oh yeah. He fucking at the first ever McMaster Improv Summit, Brock Improv, which Jeff was like basically one of the ringleaders of, was called to the stage. Jeff confidently bounds on stage, <laughs> shouts out to the crowd, everyone can hear it. Subscribe to Tweets guy. <laughs> Easily, like, at least a hundred people in the audience alone, let alone the performers, could hear him. Did you get more subscribers that day? Yes, I got two. <laughs> there you go, dude. Thank you. I mean, That's I, I, guerrilla marketing right there. <laughs> yeah, guerrilla. Real fucking subtle. No one saw it coming. Yeah, that's Fuck guerrilla ass. with the O. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Some. Well, I, I think you, you have a neat channel. Uh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. I'm not sure how fucking sarcastic you're being. I think you're being very sarcastic. Ooh! No, wait, sorry. In, in, in light of earlier things, your channel's very interesting. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Big there Tuna it is. TV. There it is. <laughs> Hi, uh, Skeletal, Clubbing, Ramus, Fine yeah. Points. Hi, have you seen, have you seen my, my channel? I have, have one video. Chalk, Chocula, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Count Chocula, the video? Uh, Chalkumentary. A Chalkumentary. I've been compared to Count Chocula before. Gaunt face and, uh, pale. I see it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think it's a little bit on the insulting side. Well, uh, no, I, I actually dig his cereal. It's All not right. bad. Have you ever seen, um... What is the number one selling breakfast cereal in America right now? Uh, shit. Captain Crunch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was gonna say Cookie Crisp. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm very masturbatory, you know, referencing my own videos. Oh, which video oh. are you referencing? We'll link it. <laughs> you can just link, like, 12 Don't forget things. to link his yeah. grandma. Okay, no, I'm not there with that. But, uh... Oh, okay, I, can we at least uh, have your grandma? What was the video? Oh, dude. <laughs> you know what video that's from? It's... <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. It's called the Sarush Naruzi Talk Show. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I watched it. Nine it was... minutes of Sarush rambling. <laughs> <laughs> My dream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, there's this one bit he has, like, in the video where uh, it, it's totally unscripted. I actually, you know, just gave him a prompt for a lot of it. And, we, you know, we just bounced off. A lot of, like, talk show stuff, uh, stuff that we set up is uh, improv because nice. it's, it's just such... It, you know, like, you can have a character and then, you know, work with the personality of the host. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. So, like, my character was Quintana Montero and Timbus, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Say that five times fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I was a, you know, a parody, obviously, and yeah. I, I came on, and I just, I wouldn't stop talking. Like, I didn't <laughs> give him, like, a word in edgewise, and I was just like, let me, let me tell you what is the number one selling breakfast cereal in America right now. But he has this rant halfway in it, and uh, uh, my prompt was... Like, he hates romance movies, so I was like, okay, all right, talk about that. Actually explain it. So he, <laughs> for a majority, is just complaining about Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> and how unattractive he finds Jennifer Lawrence. 
<laughs> and uh, and then then he's like, oh oh, and the male characters, um, they make the guy look like God. That's beautiful. He's not gay though. He's not gay. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm serious. He's serious. No, like he was mad at that. He doesn't like yeah. that they build him up to be a good guy or something. I don't know. I mean, I have a few issues with the Hunger Games. Uh, like number one. If he's trying to hide amongst the rocks, he paints his face to perfectly look like a rock. Put a fucking rock on your face. Boom. How else is he gonna see? Well, then he has to paint his hands. Because <laughs> he's holding up the rock, Paul. <laughs> well, shit. Why don't you just not choose a rock as a hiding place? <laughs> yeah. <as that? laughs> I haven't seen the movie, though. Yeah, so. seen when it comes to things I compare you to, I don't compare Count Chocula. I've compared a lot of things, though. Uh, in terms of your, uh, Ukrainian John Ham was one that stood out to me. <laughs> I thought you were, for some strange reason, I thought you told me you were Ukrainian, so I'm like, okay, cool. You oh, I, quarter. Oh. Yeah, in okay. the blood, my grandpa on my mother's side is full. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so I was right about, yeah, so Ukrainian John Ham, you have this sort of, like, allow me to suck your dick for a second. You have oh, this sort of, please. like, smolder to your look that kind of makes you look a little bit John Hamish, but, like, younger. Oh, thank you, Paul. Uh, in terms of your um, erratic personality, I compared you to uh, <laughs> what? It's true. Oh yeah. Uh, 80s Michael J. Fox. Oh, nice. You remember that? I. Yeah. I just you feel kind of sad that you have to say 80s. <laughs> I mean, modern. Oh, dude! Like when Family Guy makes fun of him, like he doesn't deserve that. What do you mean with the Parkinson's thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make fun of his Parkinson's all the time on that show, and it's just like, like, like what did he do? Yeah, he was such a cool guy, man. He is a cool well, guy. He still is. <laughs> family, I say that. Family Guy is just the king Garbage. of just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like kind of jokes. I remember I, I was listening to DVD commentary when, um, when in that episode where Stewie actually likes Lois. And uh, he says, oh, I love your personality. You're like a female Bonnie Hunt. <laughs> and <laughs> Seth MacFarlane was saying, line. like, yeah, that was pretty uncalled for. Two days before this episode aired, Bonnie Hunt called me to say, I really respect your work and all of your all the stuff that you <laughs> oh, do. Oh, shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I, I mean, if that wasn't the context. Although, although I think that's kind of funny. It, it uh, is... I remember an early season actually had like a real cameo of a celebrity like they made fun of her And then she was like what the shit is that you know it cuts to her and then <laughs> She like turns to her lawyer, and he's like I'm suing I'm suing <laughs> that's cool yeah. uh, There was another really uncalled for joke it, th This was one of those jokes that just made me laugh purely at like why would you say that so do you remember how um uh, Star of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He's right on the tip of my tongue. Matthew Broderick. Thank you. Uh, Matthew Broderick. You know how he accidentally uh, committed vehicular homicide while in Ireland? Oh, shit. What? I don't like where this is going. It's because he drove on the wrong side of the road. Uh, he was he was used to the American side of uh, the road, and he was in Ireland, uh, so it was the uh, different side. That'll so, get you. so he accidentally killed someone in vehicular homicide, and basically because he didn't know uh, of the rules, somehow he got off scot-free. Yeah. But it, like, lived with him, and he's he said in, like, every interview, like, that... That's fucking haunted me ever since. Wow. So in comes fucking Family Guy. I'm ready for it. <laughs> where Peter buys evil Knievel gloves, thinks he's invincible, so tries to fly his car off of uh, eight other cars, just sort of like put on the road, uh, on like an inclined plane. He tries to drive over it. He crashes and all of them are burning. He climbs out of the burning wreckage and says, wow. This is like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. <laughs> oh my god! It's, wow. That's just like so mean. Really going out of their way. Yeah, so. exactly! <laughs> there was like, just... Fuck you. Yeah, it was just so fucking uncalled for. Oh man. Oh, that is... Oh, that's brutal. You know... Yeah, and the, and the Parkinson's thing. Speaking as someone who keeps making fun of Parkinson's, uh, just as like the butt of a joke. Oh, yeah. I don't make fun of a person with Parkinson's, but Parkinson's is easy to make fun of. And karma might be biting me in the ass. I've uh, show. I'm been. I'm not sure if you. You. You know this. Yeah. What the hell are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> uh, I'm showing. I'm showing a lot of symptoms of early onset Parkinson's, according uh, to my family doctor, and I'm seeing a neurologist uh, very soon. So. Jesus. I am perfectly okay with that because yeah. holy shit, do I ever deserve it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, there's. It's different. It's different when you and I, you know, make jokes about a general thing, but it's just like they're picking on a guy who's just like. You know, Michael J. Fox, he's a cool guy. Yeah, you know? no, absolutely, totally. He's a, he's a cool dad, dude. You know, South Park, uh, if I can go back to that Matthew Broderick uh, joke that Family Guy did, South Park did a very similar thing uh, in one of their uh, recent seasons. 
and I think they did it way better because <laughs> it's um uh I am actually forget Jenner uh Caitlyn Jenner Caitlyn yes uh she had a thing going on yeah I remember right. that vehicular homicide too yeah yeah homicide. Fuck. Is it a manslaughter? If it's homicide, it's purposeful. Oh, sorry, then yeah. Uh, it, sorry, Matthew Broderick, I meant manslaughter. Uh, no, we're talking about Jenner now. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck it. Anyway. Um, so, South Park well, I also, has... I also used uh, homicide for Matthew Broderick, so both of them manslaughter. Yeah. Go on. South Park has this bit where, like, uh, <laughs> she was the driver for a lot of scenes, right? <laughs> so, so... <laughs> I wonder like... where this is going. Buckle up, buckaroo! <laughs> oh <my laughs> Deliberately, God. like, goes on the sidewalk, and it's just, like, like dozens every every time uh, she makes a cameo. It's, it's, it's amazing. That's <laughs> <laughs> awful. Wait, does she voice it? No, it's okay. clearly oh. one of the guys doing, buckle up, buckaroo, you know. Yeah. yeah. It would have been fucking... I wouldn't know what to make of it if Caitlyn Jenner actually did the voice for that, you know? I would respect the hell out of that. Yeah, if you what if what if you were called in by the creators of South Park and they're like, hey, uh, Paul, we're gonna make fun of you and we need you to be the voice of it. Would you do it? Uh, Absolutely. yeah. No, yeah. But in terms of homicide specifically, there are gonna be a few well, manslaughter specifically. Yeah. I really need to stop <laughs> saying that. Uh, if there is there's certain people who would respect the hell out of that um, and just sort of making fun of yourself, there would be a few people who are going like. You're making jokes out of this, someone's dead, fun. and it was because of your fault, your negligence? How dare you, you know? It does depend on the context, I think, because if it's if it's something you're dealing with legally, then that you, all your lawyers would be like, dude, are you dumb? <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. So. The last person I'd compare you to is probably, you ever seen, um, this is in, in terms of your facial acting. Uh, oh! You, you ever seen um, uh, Scrooge, the movie? What's it called? Scrooge? No. Like with Bill Murray? No, the the really old one. Uh, a Winter's... You mean Christmas Carol? Oh, Christmas, Christmas Carol, yeah. Thank you. I don't know why I was blanking on that. Have Winters you seen the old too. one with Alistair Sims, the one in black and white? Uh, I have not. Oh. Not the Alistair Sims version. Uh, Muppet's best version. Yeah, no, fair. <laughs> Muppet's best version. Uh, Alistair Sims does a fantastic job in, um, in facial acting, and uh, since we were on the topic of the, um, the film fest, I don't think I said this to you, but I said it to others. Um... I really wanted you for your facial acting specifically because I know that you can uh, you can be both realistic but also make like fucking thanks you're welcome <laughs> make like stretches with your face to, for comedic and or other effects and it's great to talk about this on a radio show yeah cheers <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I look like dude well they can go to your channel no they can't but all three put of a, them are in the description a, put all the links in the channel yeah cut this up <laughs> uh, oh either... shit guys I like that, that's gotta be the title what? Cut this out? <laughs> Cut this out. Uh, I was thinking of calling it Sarusha's new rap uh, video mods or whatever. Oh, the dude. fuck we said? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, rap. Oh, wait, play the sound effect. We said the title somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think no was also discussed. Uh, sorry, we're digressing. That's a, no, that's, that, that's a little meta commentary. It's fine. I don't mind meta at all. Uh, well, sometimes. Uh, at any rate, um... I love Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Link to that in the description. Uh, in terms of, uh, in terms actually of, actually do it though. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm actually gonna do it. All of these links, I'm gonna do. I have my work cut out for me editing this particular episode, but oh, hopefully yeah. it's gonna no, be a good there's one. So much like sense, like actually cutting stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in uh, terms of, um, if you said uh, you wouldn't be able to do the movie, I probably wouldn't have made it at all. Really? I, yeah, because um, not only did I envision you in the role, and as mentioned, I get really bothered by uh, things that don't go exactly as planned. Mm. Like when that one actor for, who was going to be the teacher canceled on me, I was like, I, I can't fucking do this anymore. Yeah. Uh, similar thing with you, but also because <clears throat> I have a few friends who are good at uh, you know film acting. You're one of them, Adrian. Hi! Hey, you're, the you're here. I forgot about that. Um, Wait, Dude, who? your name is the title of the movie. Yeah. Blame that um, piece of shit. Were you named after the movie? Or was the movie named after me? <laughs> uh, Mitch is another. He's really good. Uh, he's Mitch. surprisingly good for a guy who's not an actor. Like, doesn't receive... I, I buy that. But, yeah. Um, but no one's really a good facial actor. So if you weren't there, I would have been like, okay, who else? I don't fucking know, you know? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sorry. I had a little bit of trouble in the chest area. Whoa. I didn't mean to uh, derail the conversation away from anything you wanted to say. Oh, that's fine. Well, oh no, you guys! I I was just very intently listening to all your celebrity references, and I was like, "Wow, this is interesting." And I was—I'm sorry, I didn't have anything to to say. Just because I'm sitting in silence doesn't mean I'm not interested. 
yeah, I just don't really have anything to follow up with. He's still here. He's still here. You know what? Or am I? You know what? You pose a question. Oh, fuck. Uh, new topic. Let's do it. New topic. Yeah, new topic. Let's Adrian, three, two, bomb's gonna go off. One, go. Uh, Jeff, what made you... Wait, did you talk about this? You probably might have asked this in your last podcast. I didn't listen to that. Um, but did, what? What? Can you put your dick away, please? <laughs> uh, it was my cheeks, guys. He's lying. <laughs> All right. Uh, what what got you started into making Club Ignoramus? Club Ignoramus. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Um, I think I did did mention a little bit about it, but Alec and I were hanging out one day, and you know, obviously we've we've made videos in the past. There's one called the Numb Nuts, which you could say is like our prototype video, the Numb Nuts episode one. Oh. To a rocky star. Did, was it still on YouTube? It still is, yeah. Could you send me a link to it so I could put it in the description? <laughs> you want, you're going to have to message me with all the shit i got to send yep, you. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I take notes whenever I have to uh, edit these episodes. Look at how many things. Look at five things I had to keep in mind. That's it for the last episode. Fucking note for this one. Wow, that, yeah, you're like reaching like 20 now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, so, uh, you know, you... you Alec and I, we were always into, you know, just experimenting and making stuff, but we never really had, like, a certain form. Until one day, we got together and we were like, this is it. We gotta make a channel. We gotta make it, like, like something that where we can just put our, you know, sh our shit, you know? Because, <laughs> you know, we, we like to make stuff that, uh, you know, we can watch and, and laugh at. And we didn't really... I, I, like, there's no way we could have been able to tell, like what an impact that would have on our circle of friends. Because being able to go back and actually watch those shorts, I swear to God, it's like every other time I'm hanging out with the guys in Windsor, uh, they, whenever we sit down and we're just kind of, you know, the conversation dips a bit and then uh, the TV goes on and they, they just start playing the shorts, you know? And I'm like, oh, gosh, damn it. Is, yeah. is that why you have this tendency of whenever, well, not whenever, there's been like maybe like three or four times where I've been hanging out with you and either our housemates or some of our mutual friends from improv. You'll just sort of go like, hey, let's watch either my or Paul's videos. And like, <laughs> if it's the latter, I immediately go, fuck you, no. Yeah, because it's not, I've never seen the videos as something that should be tucked away because like the point of it is to share it, you know? Yeah. It's like sharing a taste of music, but it's, it's, it's something more personal because it's like, I actually made this, and yeah. I want you to, like, kind of understand where I'm coming from, so. A, am I, like, the only one here who doesn't like telling their friends about their videos? No, I'm, I'm about to launch off of that, yeah. So, my, my <laughs> oh, yeah, ideology, I... <laughs> and possibly Adrian, stem, uh, is completely different from yours. I really like creating what I can around my online self. But I worry about how that conflicts with how people view me in the real world in any capacity yeah. whatsoever. Um, Subscribe to Tweets, guys. Yeah. So try, like, sub and also subscribe to Tweed's guy. <laughs> Tweed's guy. Like, you uh, know the one. Yeah, you know the one. In terms of in terms of uh, the stuff that I do here, I'm perfectly comfortable saying like putting on a character voice and going, "Oh, look at this fucking faggot," or something like that. Mm. But like, I would never say that in front of, say, my head professor. <laughs> yeah. Who, by the by, fun fact, watches my streams from time to time, and oh. I'm very self conscious about that. Oh. Like, when he comes on, he's like, okay, guys, this is a Christian chat now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't comment or anything like that. He has told me once or twice. He, he's very analytical about it. He says, like, now, it's interesting. Do you want a family-oriented channel? Because if so, I'd recommend you drop the swearing. But he's never like, wow, you swear a lot. How yeah. dare you? Or anything oh, like no, that. He's, I, he's pretty cool about it. A well-placed swear, I think, can be very funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's because uh, I grew up an entertainer, but I grew up a very... Quite frankly, I was not funny. I, I tried to be an entertainer, but I was very unfunny until I'd say... What year is it? Like, 2018? Uh, so, as a matter of just principle, I just assume, no matter what, what I say isn't funny, but hey, if I throw it out there and it's on the internet, someone could laugh and I won't know about it. And the fact yeah. that no one will laugh about it is, like, my greatest luxury. I don't want people actively laughing and going, wow, your stuff is really good, just because of how I was raised, I guess. Dude, it's like Prince's Vault, you know? Did you hear about that? No. Uh, the the pop artist formerly known okay. as Prince, <laughs> he had that. Uh, he has a vault of stuff, like like literally a vault uh, of stuff that he hasn't released yet at all. Like he just he makes it and then he tucks it away. You know. Hmm. But uh, you, you you enjoy having an audience, don't you? I enjoy having an audience. I also really enjoy the luxury of not having to, at least for now, have any kind of resemblance to my real life self. 
So even when you say, like, subscribe to Tweets Guide, I'm like, oh, the lines are blurring. Look at all this gray. You know, like that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, which I don't mind because you're, you're meaning it as like a sort of a mean joke as opposed to a genuine, like, I am actively trying to yeah. blur the lines Please here. Please don't call it a meme. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but I, I really find it enjoyable to just uh, sort of say, like, here's stuff I put on the internet. <laughs> Let's go back to doing homework yeah. and doing a class thing. Yeah, some of my personality bleeds over into my videos and also into my but, real life. But that's just how content creation is. <laughs> yeah, no, legitimately. I also don't know if this has anything to do with it, but uh, I both was a bully and was bullied growing up. So I was sort of taught to at least imagine that a lot of my... Um, a lot of my... I don't know, I just feel awkward getting any kind of compliments on the things that I create. Oh, I hate getting compliments, anyways. Yeah, I, I guess it's it's somewhat- I enjoy it. <laughs> that's, that is not a bad thing. No, that no. That is 100% not a bad thing. Like, if I if I show someone a video and they say nothing, I'll be like, thank you. <laughs> I also like, you know, constructive feedback. No, yeah. yeah, the only time I will show people things is when I want constructive feedback. When I first, um... Uh, when I first uh, finished uh, that stupid film that I put into the film fest, uh, I showed uh, Haven immediately. Yeah, uh, the acting was shit, to be honest. <laughs> I liked it. Um, hang on, wait. It was me. Right? On a side note, <laughs> oh, I don't. I like here. I don't I, like wait, compliments. Wait, wait. I, just, I, I just want to. I just want to finish this. And uh, and she. And the only reason I showed it to her was to say, "Did this make sense?" I and I specifically asked her, "Don't say anything nice about it, please. I'm not ready for that." Anyway, go Fair on. Enough. Sorry. Um, Damaged. <laughs> It's not that I don't oh. like compliments. It's like, I prefer acknowledgement for my work, but I don't like yeah. people being like, wow, your videos are so good. You guys are so good. So it's like, yeah. hey, good job. And I'm like, that's all I needed to hear. Yeah, I, I, I don't want a yes man either. But. Yeah, I, I, li I like when people say, like, you're committing to this stuff. It really shows. Like, yeah. that means so much oh, more yeah. than, like, wow, this was really funny. I'm, yeah. Whenever someone says really funny. Uh, that's so and, vague. Which is good because it's only that's happened. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> With... <laughs> When, which is good because only once has anyone ever said like, "Your stuff is really funny." I'm like, "Thanks." Thanks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, what well, do you want me to say? Something nice? Uh, you got a good nose. Uh. The humor on Club Ignoramus can be a little bit polarizing sometimes, so uh, it's. I guess there also needs to be a certain level of taste. So if someone says, like, "Hey, I thought that was really funny," I'm like. Dude, do you want to hang out? <laughs> That's fair, yeah. <laughs> um, I remember I showed my, my the video I just uploaded not too long ago to one of my friends, and her response was, you have a very weird sense of humor. <laughs> I'm sure that's better than an actual compliment, though. I, I guess. She's like, I'm like, well, the way I see it is, when I make a video, as long as I'm laughing at the jokes that I make, I don't know, I think it's good enough. Like, just because I know someone out there, and also I've been generally, like, Oh, I'm gonna put praised in quotes as being someone who can be almost consistently funny. Um, so I'm like, if I'm laughing at my jokes, I think someone out there will too. And that's good enough for me. I don't want, not everybody has to like everything I do. But as long as, you know, like 10 people are like, eh, that's good. Like, that's good enough for me, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing this for it's, the people. I'm doing this for myself. Which which has a really good side effect of, like, if someone says something that's like, oh, man, your content kind of sucks, you can more easily brush that off, I find. I'm yeah. not sure if that's true for you, but it's super true for me. If, d dude, like, I mean, I have a profession in, in acting. Not everyone's going to like yeah. my performance. Yeah, yeah. You have to take criticism if you're going to do content or anything like that. Yeah, when I started doing the videos, uh, I showed I showed it to uh, this one guy named George just because I knew he was in the gaming crowds. And I think his first reaction was like, uh, you, you think you're... You think you're gonna make it with this? Oh, fuck right off, please. And, and I said, like, I don't know, I'm gonna try, though. Uh, did you like it? He was like, yeah, see you on the YouTube front page in a month. Well, he's just a dickhead. Yeah, he's just an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I'm, I, I, shout I'm out not, to George. Yeah, shout out to George. I'm, I'm not really bothered by it, though. He's just sort of... Like, you gotta understand, like, some people have their own ways of communicating ideas across. His thought process wasn't, how can I be as big of a dick as possible? It was, I really want to communicate that I don't think that uh, this uh, this uh, is viable for success. And I yeah. want to let him down before, and before mm. like, he lets other, other people let him down or something yeah. like that. So I still, in a way, respect. And yeah, that's the most, like, fucking PC way to go about uh, getting that sort of thing. Been a little bit more direct. 
<laughs> oh, sh good luck there, guy. You got yeah. a real good thing going, you know, rolling his eyes in his head. But know? I will admit, uh, someone in person telling me you're not funny is still just as, like, fuck you and fuck off sort of thing. Um, when I was, uh, when I was home for, uh, Christmas, I remember my, uh, my sister and her fiancé, uh, I said a joke or something like that, and, like, people at the, d at the table, like, laughed or something like mm. that, and either she or the fiancé just said, you're not funny. Wow. All right. <laughs> and, like, I, I, I never experienced this before, but I had this out-of-body, like, adrenaline rush moment of, like, yeah, well, I get paid to, um, uh, like, people get, uh, pay me to, uh, to watch my improv skills, so yeah. how about you just not talk? Yeah. Or something like that. It was way more succinct than that at the time, because you know when you have an, ad an adrenaline rush and you just say the first thing that you're yeah. not even oh, thinking? Yeah, primal rush, dude. Yeah, and then afterwards you sit back and think, I fucking nailed it! Like that sort of thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then afterwards I was like, I don't normally say things like that. So it's interesting, I feel like being funny is kind of almost a defense mechanism. Going back to, I don't want to say damage, but I feel like a sort of um, early learned sort of reaction sort of thing. Mm. Like being, uh, being funny as just sort of, uh, nope, this is my defense mechanism, fuck off. And if someone says you're not funny, they sort of go beyond the first wall of defenses. Yeah. Then you get hostile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then I get hostile, apparently. I feel like if it was anybody online, though, people have called me not funny before. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can say anything behind a computer screen. Yeah, especially during the RuneScape streams. Really fucking weird. The best people and the worst people on RuneScape. Like, the, for, within day one of, of uh, starting up RuneScape streams for the first time, someone was like, Hey, I think your channel has a lot of potential. I want to see you go to membership, because I was playing old school. He was mm. like, here's five million. Go buy a, a membership Aww, thing. Thanks. And it was like, holy shit. Wait, and then, me about this. Yeah, and then like three other people were like, hey, you want this item? It's pretty cool, and I th it would be nice to see you wear it. And I was like, dude, this is great. And then there were just like people popping in and going like, that headband makes you look like a faggot. And like, <laughs> you're not funny, you know. You should just stop. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Streams are about the gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> uh... You know, Saroosh will shitpost uh, Facebook a lot for me, and, uh, you know, that's that's fine. Sorry, that's a weird interjection, but no, it's, no. it's going somewhere. Yeah, hit me it's, with it. Uh, what, he, what he says, you know, is a lot of, uh, what are you, gay? And honestly, every time I just kind of have to respond with, yeah. <laughs> so Please like, tell me you do it like that, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I do, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> like, you know, he does the same thing when, you know, retarded. He's like, are you retarded? And I just, I, I get up real close to him, and uh, I just, eyes popping out of my head like I'm looking into his soul, and I'm like, yes! <laughs> dude, I cannot wait for a really attractive to me dude to come into my life, and I actually consider it so that I can finally identify within technicality as bisexual, so that when Saru says, are you gay? And it's like, are you homophobic? <laughs> and just, like, watch everything fucking just crumble. <laughs> Um, he has described that it, it's more that he has homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, if I if I get Parkinson's, another th thing that's nice about that is that I'm no longer neurotypical, and I can say whatever the fuck I want without people going like, "Oh, you're disparaging to uh, to non neurotypical people." The neurodiversity movement. And I could be like, "Nope." I don't even know what he's saying. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> Basically, um, things like you know when people don't make fun of the disabled. Not a, not just disabled, but also neurotypical is sort of like the opposite of things like um, when people have autism or um, uh, when people say like the R word and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, neurotypical people are people who without any kind of mental uh, disability. And then uh, the neurodiverse uh, people are... Oh, or, gotcha. Yeah. That's, it's more of a PC okay. term for that. And I had to learn that because I, was, uh, I taught a, a lot of um, uh, autistic children uh, with... Um, uh, this organization thing. Yeah. You learned a lot of uh, terms going out of that, but also there was this one kid, I think I talked about this on uh, one of my podcasts, can't remember which one of you it was with, um, where uh, this one kid uh, said, why Why do people say person with autism? Is this ringing a bell for either of you? No. Cool, I'm going to go right into the story. Okay. Um, there, there was this one, uh, this one autistic kid, and he said, uh, so you guys say, like, person with autism. And I said, like, yeah, it's the, uh, the idea of person first speech. Uh, you know, you, uh, you identify that they're a person first, then you identify their, uh, their, um, the autism later. Yeah. And, uh, and they say, like, yeah, but isn't the whole purpose of this camp to make me feel like I'm normal? And, like, I'm not, uh, I'm not somebody with a disability and that I can still do things dis uh, despite having autism? And I, I even chimed in at that point saying, like, oh, well, it's not despite you having autism, it's just sort of 
we we all are our own person, and uh, we just need to be um, be raised individually. And I went into this whole thing about individualized learning. And he said something to the effect of, yeah, well, then that's bullshit. You don't say a person with height. You say a fucking <laughs> tall person because they're tall. And I, I, at this point, I was still, like, arguing against, but he was, I was, like, there was this voice in the back of my head going, like, fuck, he is really correct. Yeah. Because you can either say that, like, oh, autism isn't, like, a debilitating thing and, like, uh, and everyone has potential and stuff like that. Or you can, um... Fuck, I lost my train of thought. It fucking derailed on the tracks. But you get what I'm saying. I, I yeah. do understand where you're coming with yeah. this. Yeah. So at this point, uh, it, w it also resonated with me that every single person I've met who said, like, a uh, person with autism has always been someone who is neurotypical. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, why the fuck have I been... Why the fuck would I listen to someone without autism? Uh, over when someone who has yeah, exactly. Autism. Over someone who has autism saying, this is what I think. So at this point, I've kind of accepted that. So I've, I've started saying... Um, I've started going back into saying autistic person in an attempt to normalize it as opposed to go like, oh, a person with autism TM, you know? Yeah. Uh, and if someone, if someone with, uh, with autism says, uh, uh, could you please say person with autism, then I'll go like, yeah, sure. And I'll make sure to use it for that person, but the yeah. kid was really fucking right. Yeah, it's, it's good smart. on him. It's a good point. I mean... Yeah. It, it can be debated, obviously. I feel oh, yeah, like, yeah. you know, white knighting comes to mind. You know, just defense for the sake of uh, protecting the little guy, but then that that's demoralizing. That's demeaning, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know whether, know whether to make heads or tails of it. I'm just sort of adding this fluff at the end because I could tell neither of you had anything else to add. Sorry, I can't really oh. relate. No, that's that's fine. I'm autistic. Are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good anecdote. Of course, it is a spectrum, right? So technically, we all are. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, my old housemate. Did you ever meet him, Corwin? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he kept postulating, uh, just, hey, I think I have a mental disability. And I was like, yeah? And he said, well, if we're all on a spectrum, I think I'm I'm not quite fully, uh, fully without uh, any questionings of who I am or something like that. So that dings me up. And therefore, if I'm not completely one, uh, one end of the spectrum, I've got to be at some point on the other end of the spectrum. And I just sort of was like, cool. <laughs> and we had the and then we had the same discussion about uh, gender where he said like I don't I don't always feel a hundred percent masculine sometimes I'm going to fucking you know if it's all down to stereotypes uh. then sometimes I'm gonna feel more feminine than other times so I guess I'm not fully a, a male and I responded yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> same thing as the last one well, why did you respond like that because I had nothing significant to add didn't like ask him why he felt that way or anything. Well, no, he. Trust me, oh, if you've ever met Corwin, uh, he he'll do it anyway. Uh, yeah. You could say like I like beans, and he'll still go on his conversation. <laughs> and I love him to bits if he's listening to this. Oh, uh, what a guy! What a guy! Oh, fucking love all the people that I'm living yeah. with. Oh, hey, are you living with me next year, Jeff? I maybe. Good answer. Yeah, we don't know yet, but it would yeah. be cool if you did. I, I think personality can be defined as a spectrum too. Uh, there's, there was this cynical post that I saw online uh, that, that said, like, I believe that there are uh, about 500 unique personalities, and then after that, it starts repeating. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, obviously that's a you know, very jaded point of view, but it is something that, you know, pops in your head, just kind of like, yeah, there are similar people, aren't there? You know? Uh, you, snowflake theory. Every snowflake is unique, Right. But Even though they're not, back, they all look the back. same. Yeah, yeah, the same yeah, yeah. I get you. Uh, I do that a lot when uh, when creating characters. Uh, I try to think of the most unique people I know. Uh, for example, uh, uh, I don't know. People like you, or you, or Connor. How dare you from Brock Improv? <laughs> oh, Connor. Yeah. Like in reference to what? How they react to things and their personality traits and stuff like that. I just oh, go I like. See. Okay, so this is good. This character is like a modified version of Jeff, but the twist is that they really care about fiscal responsibility or some sort of shit like that. I care about fiscal responsibility. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you did. It was a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, that's that's how I create uh, things like characters. Yeah, well, you gotta write what you know. Yeah, I guess. What is it that you make, Adrian? Huh? Oh. Like, what do you do? Oh. What no do I conversation do? during this fucking podcast. I'll tell you that. Oh. <laughs> That was you, you looked really sad for a second there. Hi, welcome to my show. Go fuck yourself. 
Uh, Adrian, can you come over today? It's going to be a fun time. We're going to podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm having so much fun with my <laughs> friends. <laughs> um, what do I make? Well, right now, Jeff, I make yeah. whatever the heckery know I want to. Oh, I'm I, in the same form. But yeah. But what is that? Oh, okay, well... Right RPG now, RPG maker shit. Be careful. No. Once you dig that hole, you can't get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't do like let's playing or anything. M mainly like the reason I started the channel again was to improve myself as a. You use the same music as John Tron uses in a lot of his videos too. A lot of the stuff by Rare. That's another reason why I thought you were very similar uh, to John Tron. I was just picking music that fit well, and I was like, hmm. And I usually draw most of my like songs and backgrounds from video games because that's my the media I know best. Yeah. Also, and it's usually royalty free. Yeah. <laughs> also, usually royalty free. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry for interrupting. That's okay. Um, but like, I don't know. I I established in the. I mean, there's like a video that will come out when more videos come out. It's sort of like an intro thing that it's like, this channel is whatever the fuck I want it to be, so don't expect one format. But there will be like a constant thing called the a review, and there's quotes on the review yeah. where I sort of just take like a, I just like dump my thoughts on something and then give it a score at the end. Oh my god, Adrian, please, for the love of fuck, tell me that you are not doing one of those intros where it's like some thing that you clearly paid for on Fiverr that's really high quality and it's like no. Wiggler 101 no. or something like that. You know where I'm going with this. Or Big Tuna. And then cut to two minutes of gameplay of various games set no. to royalty free music. No. I, saw, I, I was curious, so I decided to actively look for those today. I found three examples <laughs> in ten minutes of just what I described. Yeah. I believe it. I'm a little confused at, as to what you're describing. Uh, okay, so there's... With with the um, sort of the laggard movement of uh, gaming channels... Laggard? You, like the, the last ones to uh, join into the oh, uh, oh, the movement. So sorry. there's like... Laggard is a guy's name, so... Oh, sorry. <laughs> in, in, is this guy quoting someone right now? In terms He's of... Citing? In terms of, uh, of popularity and... Um, uh, spikes in uh, in trends and things like that. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a theory that uh, calls for four sections of people: uh, innovators, early adapters, late adapters, and laggards. Okay. Yes. So early adapters would be people like PewDiePie, Rooster Teeth, etc., etc., who set the uh, the stage for um, for uh, YouTube gaming. Early adapters are people like Smosh Games, Game Grumps, etc., etc. Yeah. Uh, late adapters, I'd say, is it fair to say Dunkey? No, Dunkey no. was popular. been around for a while. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, late adapters are just basically people within, I'd say, the last... F around the 2012 to 2014 area yeah. who started picking up on those things. Okay. And then um, laggards are everybody that came afterwards. So in terms of uh, the laggard movement, so to speak, of, uh, of video gaming on YouTube, which makes me sound like the hugest dork on the fucking planet, um, there's this weird trend for people to create uh, trailers buying some sort of fancy graphic from Fiverr.com or, you know, something similar where you yep. can just buy a fav uh, an artistic favor for, like, five bucks or something like that, uh, where they create, like, your logo and also your intro, and the intro is 60 frames per second, then the fucking gamer thinks to themselves, eh, it's good enough, and then they fucking put, like, two minutes of gaming footage uh, like on the end of that little thing and the gaming footage is at 30 frames per second <laughs> So it's super fucking obvious <laughs> that it was made by someone else Yeah, all I like said I found three of those anyway, all you gotta don't say, do Jeff, that is don't fucking in do the it. next I'm, I, It's you. not I no. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. You're a shitty host. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you big bully. Uh, all I gotta say is that video, the video that's out right now, will not be anywhere close to the second video. And the third video will be like the first video. Anyways, have that's fun. That's interesting. Okay, I'll yeah. have to, I'll have to Google you. Well, the or, one, or, you're gonna can... be in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, is there anything else we can just throw in the description? Right uh, now? yeah, Pornhub.com. You just gonna like that? <laughs> we might get in trouble. No, it's okay. I'm gonna spell porn wrong. Okay, prawn dot crom. <laughs> no, I'm gonna insert an H. P R H R N hub. How about Go. corn hub? Good place to get your I corn. I don't wanna. You you say you hate memes. That's a meme. Yes. I don't like. Memes. Then do, let's not post corn hub. <laughs> you were saying everything's a meme. Uh. <laughs> uh no, I was pretty much done. Oh, cool. So like just kind of whatever you're feeling. Oh maybe. yeah, no, it's oh, like if I, if I have an artistic surge. To create something, I'm just gonna have, make it. I have recently actually started watching a YouTube channel um, that I think is is kind of like 
as far as my tastes are concerned, up there for what uh, like a gaming channel should be. Yeah. And uh, it's it's Cow Chop. Uh, Link in the description. <laughs> Well, I don't think they need the publicity because it's got like Uberax or Nova, Immortal HD. Like those are big guys. Oh, like uh, as collaborators with them? Yeah, yeah. It's or are they a group channel? It's technically both. Like okay. they they still have their own channels, right? But Couch Co-op, Couch Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so they get together. They they own their own warehouse. They do skits and stuff too, though. So it's not just gaming, but they have a lot of gameplay videos. That's and cool. they have a lot of like different camera angles for each guy, you know, showing the different reactions. And uh, cool. I think the one thing that sells it, no matter what, if if you have other people, obviously, is chemistry. Yeah, one hundred percent. Hey, Adrian. Let's say hypothetically, you found people that you were comfortable streaming alongside. Would you would you work in a warehouse every day? Oh uh, gosh. Like go, go in, like you had to drive to work, but you drive to this warehouse, and this warehouse has a green screen and a video capture card, and it's like you got to stream. Uh, Adrian, you're you're streaming with uh, with uh, Flamingo Feathers ninety six uh, from uh, from four to eight p.m. Can you do that for me today? But like your hours are decent. Like it's like that. We're for four hours, but also you spend another say like two or so hours just you know like drawing a logo for something or like you know improving your own content, and then you go home for the day. Would you do that? Uh, it, it actually doesn't, it, as far as cow chop is concerned, sorry, it just doesn't seem like that, like, it seems rigorous? like a good experience. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because it seems like they're a close-knit group. Yeah, that's what uh, Sleepy Cabin did. Yeah, what it was, they, they rented yeah. out a warehouse and um, they just made videos. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, that the age-old question, when does play become work? Yeah. Or like, because, because I do enjoy video games, I feel like I'd have some kind of fun, but then later I'd be like, why am I here? Why, okay. am I, why am I doing this? If it this? was all you had to do in the day, I would love that shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I at, guess, at this yeah. point, work has become play for me. Um, right. Uh, at, in terms of the opposite. Um, I've sort of conditioned myself at this point to spend my free time creating as opposed to playing video games. Yeah. Apart from uh, playing like video games with Haven in bed, uh, just for our social factor, uh, like a, an hour or so, like every like two or three nights or so, I have never played a video game for pure fun I, I looked back to uh, to recall this, in fucking two years. Jesus. Wow. I, I mean, like we've hung out before though. Like that wasn't social. Uh, sorry, uh, as oh, well by as the social. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I should have clarified. Yes. Uh, okay. For non-social purposes and non-work purposes, I haven't played a video game for fun in over two years. Hey, right on. At this point, just like if I've got free time, I'm like, oh, sweet. Now I can edit this video and it'll be fun. Whereas yeah. other people would say like, oh, now I can sit back, uh, watch a fucking YouTube video. For yeah. me, that that just makes me anxious. Yeah, I get that. I, I enjoy editing videos too, but man, like the time just like melts away. Yeah, sure it's does. It's terrifying. Sure does. Yeah. Like you're saying when you edit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, just, I actually love editing. I mean, yeah, exactly. I like, I yeah, like editing a lot. I'm addicted. Yeah, no. It's really fun. It's it's uh, it's a lot of fun to... Uh, What's to, that look for? No, you know what look it's a podcast uh it's a lot of fun to just create yeah and is. like i said work has become play for me uh you might i don't want to say you might reach that point too because that sort of has a narcissistic like oh you're on the same path that i am but you're just lower down if you know what i'm saying yeah, i don't yeah. want to make it sound like that but you might reach that point too uh, because i know the one thing I can assert is that uh, I probably spend a lot more, uh, I commit a lot more time to streaming than, uh, yeah. than you do, because I try to I stream three to four times a week at least. Yeah. And each one's four hours long. Well, yeah. And I've also, like, spent, sent more of my resources, i.e. time, to things <laughs> I need to prepare for. Like, I'm auditioning for, like, schools once mm -hmm. this is over. At so I've school? been. You just got. You're just getting out of school, I know. dumbo. I gotta do Dumpling? more. Dumpling? Three more years. Of what? Of acting. In? Conservatory program. At? Uh, well, actually, you don't need to say that. Yeah. Well, there's three places I'm applying to, and I hope I get into one. Yeah, that um, doesn't sound too bad, though. Do you enjoy acting? Yes. But what a fucking... Thing. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Are you, so, Are you gay? <laughs> you were making it sound like he, he was getting mugged or something. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I don't sorry know. you're my, doing things you enjoy. My, well, my personal experience is post-secondary. So uh, you would you would be more opposed to working in a warehouse than, say, like us two, I assume? Uh, Adrian? Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of fun. I just don't think I have the streamer personality down. I'm very... Like, I've told you're, you my, my problem. Oh, wow. Sorry, go ahead. I've told you my, like, issue with it. I feel like yeah. I have nothing interesting to say at all the time. And I don't know, there's a constant, like, 
little voice in my head being like, you gotta say something or no one's gonna watch you. Yeah, you know, yeah shit. And you need something to bounce you off of, like an actor. Yeah, monitor. I need a person. Yeah, you definitely don't always need to talk, though. Cause, like, I know, for sure. But hey, I don't know, there's editing, something dude. creeping. There's something creeping. For, for everyone else, I accept that. Room. For me, I can't. I, I made a personal rule where if I make, if I go seven seconds without talking, I'm a bad, uh, like, I'm doing a bad stream at that point. Uh, okay, well, I... I'm thinking uh, in terms of videos. Streaming yeah, vi is different because you're essentially with people for a little while. Yeah, and as soon as you, uh, you're silent for a little bit, that's exactly how much time someone can like think to themselves, eh, let's see what something else is on. But if I'm constantly talking to people, and if I'm pushing myself to be entertaining, then it works. Yeah, yeah, I mean, don't go, don't push yourself, you know, because... Uh, I, I don't know. It, it does take a knack. You have to have a talent for it. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you can't just... Because, uh, you know, like... Hey, everybody! We're all having fun today, aren't we? You know, like, Please! Yeah, something like <laughs> yeah, that. I remember, I remember I watched this streamer, and he was, like, playing... Like, he was trying to speedrun, like, Kirby's Air Ride, like, Top Ride. Wow, I hope you fucking reported him. Go on. <laughs> um, it, I, There was no one in his chat. Wow, I hope you reported him. It was just me, and he was, like... He was trying to make like a meme or something or like a joke. I'm sorry, Jeff. Uh, it's fine. He, I'm over he, it. You know, like the sand level with the with the sandworm in in Kirby's the air ride. Sand level. The yeah. sand level in you Kirby's know the one. in top ride. Yeah, the one with uh, the sandworm. Sand level in he, every game. He he would like he would like constantly exclaim sand. So he'd be like, oh, and here we are driving over the sandworm. Yay, sand! And like I was like, oh my god, this man is. And so oh. I was like. Man, how's it going? Like in uh, chat, and he's like, "Oh, hey there, big tuna, just playing the sand level because we have sand here." And I was like, "Are you trying to make a like, joke? Because it's it's like, really it hurts. I'm hurting. You, there are daggers in me." You came in. He didn't have anybody, but he was still doing it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I watched him for like a minute, and he's like, "Oh boy, it's our favorite level, sand level. Like he, we got sand." Like, like he was getting excited every time about the sand. I'm, he I'm didn't sure. Even have anybody watching? <laughs> I'm sure. Like you. You don't have that luxury, like, listening to yourself going, wow, that's fucking idiotic of me, but you can see that as someone else. I can guarantee someone has had this exact conversation about one of my streams. Oh, probably. I can guarantee I it. I mean, but you have to, like, the, 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 the trap is, though, someone could come in at any minute, so you better be entertaining, like, the yeah, whole fucking time. Yeah, immediately. Like, if you're yeah. just, if someone comes in and you're just going... Well, just looking around, I've, just, like, silent. I've seen a VOD of, like, someone we know who streams. What a fucking and, asshole. And she, they just like... Oh, it was a she. You uh, said yeah, she. I know, I said she. Cut, cut the video. <laughs> um, like, cut I, I was watching the VOD, and I like skipped probably through like an hour of of it, waiting for her to say something. <laughs> and and you gave up on her? And she didn't say anything. At one point, she started eating chips, and <laughs> the crunching was picked up on the mic. Why so so it was just, it was like, it was like... I want you. I hope I was picking up my breath. Yeah, that's, um, that's great. Like, why have the mic? An hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a webcam. So they were just with, dolly with, with staring. The tits out? With the tits out? Uh, no, it was neck up. All right, cool. Uh, which I respect. Yeah. Not everything's about tits. Um, and she yeah, was just sitting there. Where my ass boys at? <laughs> Speak for yourself. Like, uh, if I if I wear a V neck, I get more followers. Um. Real? Uh, I don't know yet. I could test it though. <laughs> I could start wearing um, V-necks on stream. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. there was it, it was like an hour long. It was maybe like a three hour vod. I I don't know what, why I was like. Hour? Speaking of after the podcast, we've been talking we've for been way too like fucking two long. and a half hours. Well, no, but an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what, how long are these supposed to go? Uh, an anywhere from one hour to two, I'd say. Yeah. Well, then why are you upset? Because we've been bitch. talking Shocking for two. For so long. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We're having a good conversation, dickhead. You want to cut it off? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm running out of steam at this cut point. Cut the video. A... Yeah, yeah. Adrian, you running out of steam? You want to fucking man. say the answer instead of nod? Uh, yeah. Well, I just... <laughs> this is, this is also my problem with me. streaming. I get, like, mentally exhausted from just, like... Blah, 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 just talking. I have, I have four hours of streaming to do after this. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Well, you gotta consider it, like, yeah. you're essentially... Hanging out with the boys. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. legitimately. It's more like you're... You have an audience, at least. You, you're hanging out with the boys, but you're the most interesting member of the friend group. I yeah. think it, ha it has to be the mentality in your head, or at least you're trying to be the most interesting in the friend group. Yeah, yeah don't try, do. Because don't do, just be. Because, you know, if you try... Then it's, don't it's be, just, just try. 
don't. <laughs> <laughs> I crossed my eyes there for anyone who couldn't yeah. see. It was really funny to watch. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you guys heard the joke, too. So, to end off the podcast, as we always do, uh, Adrian, uh, what is your what is your overall goal for the next time we meet up and talk? There's going to be more videos. Yeah? I'm going to make more videos. I have three in the cooker right now. One is is one is in the editing process one has the voice lines recorded i just need to record the footage and then compile it and one of them just needs to finish the voice line so we're almost there and you uh you want them to be sort of you want to come into your own style so to speak yes more okay i want to i want to find i want to find the the adrian that's in there that isn't like everybody else all right cool uh jeff uh gaming channel gonna update that more all right Ah. That wasn't that hard. <laughs> no, I know. And I have it's no radio, not television. I have no idea when we're going to meet next. Maybe next week, maybe fucking in, in a month, as always, with yeah. fucking palookas. Whatever.